There we go. There we go. Now everything is working. There we go. We are now live. I had a quick, me had a brief mess up a few seconds ago, but now it's fixed. Okay, let's let's play some Simon Max. Let's finish this off. We're now on to chapter three. Ah, oh, this show, this game is so fun. This time I set it into Vista compatibility mode, so hopefully any potential visual glitches will be fixed. So, anyway, anyway, let's have some fun, let's have some fun. Ah, Sam and Max is always such fun to... It's always fun to play these games. Always, always fun. Actually, I was quite tempted. Hey, Rainy, how's it going? Yeah, long time no see. How's it going? How's it going? I was saying, I was kind of torn today. I wanted to continue playing Sam and Max, but I also want to code. So I, I've been trying to des decide Hi, if I should Good do news, a coding Max. thing. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Uh, oh, I, I forgot that. I, got I forgot to set subtitles. Ow. Anyway. Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beef. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if good I to hear, good to hear. Bigger. Forget that, Max. We're after that the sounds so painful. Quit writing your city. notes the into the victim mafia. or into the perpetrators. Killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Oh. Oh. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. I can't the believe that there's a place Earth? called that. Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact uh, with the mole and see if he As I was commenting help. on, Sam and Max is, is such a, a fun series. Mole or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. Just it's full of a lot of silly quips. The code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me first turn on subtitles. See here, there it is. Subtitles. And they have warp drive. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's start looking around. Oh, all right. So we have the hallucina bear. We have uh, a hare. Let's see here. Let's get the ace. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. <laughs> Very specific. Jimmy said, Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! Ah, uh, okay. That is actually a very good question. Who would. No, there must be other rodents coming in to buy stuff. Alright, let's go. But yeah, yeah, I, I really wish that Telltale Games made more Sam and Maxes like this. Granted, they did make three seasons, which is phenomenal. However, I, I just wish I wish I could have had more. I mean, these were great. They were nice, short, bite-sized playthroughs. They had lots of funny, silly jokes. Oh, posters. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Sounds very painful. Oh, oh, okay, so what is she now? She's a witness. Ah, uh, Sybil. I, I don't think... Actually, I think that... I hope that's not an actual job where you, you end up being a real-life witness. Alright, Sybil, what are you doing? Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become oh, a professional trial Oh, there's still a bit of glitches witness. going on. 
Let me check something real quick. While we're at it, let's see here. Professional what exactly witness. is a professional trial witness? That's oh, a very good great. question. Oh, of course. Okay. One second. I need to check. Did I set this to compatibility? I did. It is compatibility Vista. All right. Hey, so... Oh, oh no. The audio went out. Hey, Kitty, how's it Almost going? sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? All right, we'll go. We'll be back. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Okay. Keep one eye on the truth. Professional witness. Very sh I think, uh... Wait, wasn't there a couple movies back in the 90s about that? There's this one particular movie I remember where there was a trial going on and all of the jury members were stuck in a really horrible apartment and one of the people ended up find, figuring, uh, doing something where they could actually get money. And then from there, he would start advertising while the trial went on, earning lots of money, and he would f climb out of his room window up to a higher, better location. And I just remember in there, the scene was, was everyone else was having horrible dealings with the very poor establishments. But he was living the good life as a witness. You're working on two drawings. Ooh, that sounds fun. I am coding. As I had mentioned earlier, I was, I'm yep, very tempted. I don't... To filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Oh, I think a lot of people would a lot of people would be very happy to have that right now. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah. For me, I've been on the fence because I want to program, but I don't know how well it would go over on streaming. Not necessarily uh, because I know a lot of people here they program very well, but I'm not a really good programmer. Uh, in regards to what hey, I'm trying Bosco. to learn, nice I mean I'm very good at certain programming, but me. not what I'm trying, what I want to program Bosco. in. Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No, but you may call me Jean Francois Sissy Pants, the cowardly French anarchist. The cowardly French anarchist. Also, oh, you don't need the antidepressants. Nah, life isn't that bad. That's coming from someone who's jobless. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take a oh. number, guys. Okay, so what is the Mafia doing? What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the toy Mafia committed against you? Yeah, someone, though. Yeah. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are you they planning can't. to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star. Oh boy, another... Yeah, exactly. Another delivery conspiracy. Uh, it, your school is... What's happening at your school now? Are they... more work? Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or oh, my name is not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah, what's preventing the delivery? Mafia for making a delivery. Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has Is seen since. Is it B tabs? B tabs. I yeah, call it it's the B tabs. Tech anti-delivery system. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also B tabs. It is <laughs> B tabs part two. How does How it work? Does B-Tad's part do work? First, is the anti-delivery camera. The, it wait, they cut off... How can they do that? Uh, if they're not going to pay you, you just should have stopped going altogether. completely impractical. 
If anything gets placed in the store that the anti delivery You're not doing this for free. It is put out on the street. Vive la France. That is, yeah, that, that's, if they're not paying, then they, you're not working. That's just simple as that. You don't pay, you don't work for free. That is nuts. Oh. Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, does the carpet map the drapes? No, because I'm afraid of their unification. What does that even mean? Uh, especially when it comes to hair. Maybe he's worried that the hair on his head and the hair on um, the hair on, you know, the carpet and the drapes will eventually meet up on his back. Unify into one form of back hair. Look, it's Look outside. It's the toy mafia. What? Where? Fools. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. And I intend to. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, I agree with you. That if they're not going to act like a proper business, then you're just not going to act like a proper employee. If they want you to work, then you will. Then they better pay. It's here. We want to buy something. We want to buy something. We, oui, we, oui, monsieur. Oh. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? Nope. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? Nope. I can't help but feel like some Do of these were references to... chickens with a pulley in the middle? Yep, yeah, nope. okay. These are references to really old Lucasfilm games. The chicken with a pulley in the middle was from uh, The Secret of Monkey Island. And the first one, which was the tufts of Sasquatch hair, that's from Sam and Max Hit the Road, the very first game that these two showed up in. Oh, oh, I'll have to look at them on the Discord. So what characters are they? I'm quite curious, quite curious. And then the one, a cow utter for a helmet. That might have been from Day of the Tentacle, but don't quote me on it, because I don't actually remember. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No! Nope. Do you have any... No! Nope. How do you know what he was gonna... No. Nope. <laughs> do you? No! Nope. Nope. <laughs> Do you? Nope. Uh, I'm waiting. Do you? Nope. I wonder Do you how long. Straight ah. Sasquatch hair? Oh, nope. I was hoping it would have continued going. What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Redesigns. Tech innovation. All right. A device non parallel on That sounds fun. Is that good? Wee oui, wee! Oui. This I call a or Mary and Naya. device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversation, no? No. I mean, yes. Oh. We want the listening okay, device. Senor Sissy Pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. All right. The price is ten million dollars. Ten million? Wait. Is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. <laughs> Where am I going to get 10 million? All right. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? Nope. Okay, okay. Let's go. Nothing for us right now. Zit. See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. Uh, oh, hey, there's a camera. This is the anti-delivery camera the system. Anti-delivery camera. Whee! So you redesigned them. I'm, I'm curious to, well, the why you re redesigned. I have my gun. Hey! Oh, come on. No, no, I want to shoot. I want to shoot. What are you doing? Why must people bulletproof their cameras? Can't we all get along? Ah! Stop it! Watch out! Put that away! 
Oh, what camera up here? What are you doing? Oh, I'm not done shooting things. I want to see if he'll say anything. Well, that would hardly be sporting. Oh, He's come on. He's a crazy man. He'll kill us all. You'll be the death of us all. Don't make me come over there. He's got a gun, and he doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> nah. Why'd I ever get rid of b -tag? Hey! Ah! Stop it! Watch out! Oh, uh, funny. He has a gun, and he doesn't know how to use it. All right. I think we have to go. Ah, I see, I see. It's the type of skins that you would like to... Oh, hydrant. All right, the type of skins that you would like to have in the game. Let us go. Where are we going, Sam? Going to the Toy Mafia. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Mafia Free Playland. The fact that it's a playland and casino makes it sound exactly like it's where the mafia would be. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You're not ah! doing it right. That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. <laughs> All right, all right, okay. Uh, the writing is quite on point in this game. You look like you look Holy really familiar. Domesticated Ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation <laughs> you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Ah, uh, funny. Let's see here. Oh, can I ask him? You a mole around Do here? Do you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Yeah, uh, funny. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia, mafia free. free. No mafia no one... anyways. Come on, true. Oh. <sighs> This feels an awful, he feels an awful lot like a lot of employees that I have met. He's literally here, like, uh, he's getting paid, he's getting paid the bare minimum, so he's putting in the minimum amount of work. I think he should probably go ask for a pay raise. He could, then he, he could probably put in a bit more effort into actually trying to sell Mafia Freeland. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. He's not okay, wrong, we'll come actually. Back then. He is not wrong at all. Oh, this is exactly why many games Many free-to-play games give free stuff away. And it's because of the fact that if you can get people to spend a little bit, even if it's not their own money, if you can get them to spend a little bit, it will like flip a switch in their brain. And they'll start thinking, it's not that bad to spend a little bit of money. And this is where you can result from some people not spending a single penny on a game to you know, spending hundreds. And all of the games do this, all of them. For instance, well, since we're talking about it, Identity 5 does it quite a lot. Oh, good luck, kitty, good luck. Yeah, Identity 5 does it. That's why you have the whole, you know, you get free stuff for the first week you play the game. I mean, it gave me a bunch of free stuff just by returning, because it's hoping that 
I'll start playing it, I'll gain a habit of playing it longer, and, you know, hey, spend a little money, why don't you? you you'll enjoy it. We're looking for somebody. So, who uh, Look, yeah, he, I just greet the guests. Very fun. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business. Ah, okay. Room. We need to go to, you know to I mean? the back room. What kind of business? Yeah. The kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so you know not to ask. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm We're gonna. for somebody who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear in the, He's back, in the room. back room. He knows everyone. All right, I guess Thanks, that's the end of that. Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Like every good, uh, like every good casino. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Oh, okay. Hey, we have our gun. We get to use it again. Okay, let's use the token. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up. See, if the rat keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, Cappy. <laughs> have fun. How can we not? All right, let's get our gun. There we go. Oh. Gotta shoot the singing rats. Oh yeah. Keep shooting like that, and you'll never make it in the mafia. Not that there's any mafia here. Oh, we came up empty. That's okay. It's like Mom used to say: blowing away rats is its own reward. A wise woman. Interesting. Can I do it again? Like the rats. Insert token to play. Ah, I need another token. Oh, I have another token. Okay, let's. I may need them for the casino games. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Let's play again. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh no 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 no. Oh yeah yeah. Oh, I did worse. Again. I... Yeah yeah we. We are totally going to do this until we win. Let's play again. Okay. What do you mean I... Okay. Again, again. Oh, okay. I'm having not much luck right now. Let's play again. Oh yeah. I have very poor reflexes. Finally, got it. Twenty. My Finally. Guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize. As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. Now let's go shoot something. All right. I still have tokens. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see here. Where else can I use the token? Oh, a rubber it's ducky. A rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Okay, what about the one-armed bandit? One-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at teddy bears. Okay, let's try it. All right, let's see you here. Can we win? Sweet mother 
of bleary-eyed gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? Oh. You may enter. Uh, there, okay, so yeah, we definitely need the listening device. Let's see, is there anything? I guess... Buffet is closed. Ah, yeah. That'd be nice to have a buffet. Card game. Hello there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Oh, uh, okay. Hi, Cuddly Bear. Are all of you related? This is oh, this is what happens when the Care Bears they end up. This is what happens when the Care Bears end up running out of money. They grew up. Does the carpet match the drapes? Want to play cards? We <laughs> asked first. Hmm. We're looking for someone. We're looking for someone who works here. Want to play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. I think all he says is you want to play cards. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? That name Steak Charm. Leonard Steak Charm. Let's just say I didn't rack up steak 10 million tokens charmer? by getting lucky. How does one charm How'd steaks? How'd you get him then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Yeah, Throw what's the game? The skill there is. Indian poker. Okay, so how do you play it? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, but gruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we very overconfident. Play. Very overconfident. Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. Stained with tobacco. Oh, but he's bold, so. All right, I guess it's to try and make his head shiny, maybe? All right, let's play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. No, no, you're going to regret try it. Try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. Let's see here. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> well, it's so, very obvious he's you know, cheating. He's looking far, far away. Look, we'll fold for now. Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. Oh, and he's one of those. He is That's one of those very problem. weird individuals okay. too. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So he was looking somewhere. Ah. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. There we go. Found it. We have a card too. We'll put it right up here. Wow, it sticks. All right. 
pretty easy. Now let's do this again. We should be able to win Hello, this time. Bear. Wanna play cards? What do you ever say? We wanna play cards. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Okay, let's play again. Deal. All this right. time, since you're cheating, we're gonna go ahead and cheat as well. Even the playing field. And by us cheating, we're preventing you from cheating. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Uh, yeah, we'll bet. Sure, we'll bet a token. Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, no, Sorry, we crashed. Fido. You lose. The audio broke. The dog wins. Dog what? wins. I, you, what? You cheated me. I, you've cheated what are you me. talking about, Leonard? What are you talking about, Leonard? How, How did we cheat? You? Pay uh, up, stick trauma. Pay up. Mama, uh, why uh, weren't you watching you're not over even me? Watching. I'm ruined. I'm ruined, subs. Let's go, Max. Leonard and his we'll dead go. mother need some alone time Max right Leonard now. Max Leonard has to deal with Yeah, let's go see if we can mother. play whack the rats 10 million we'll times in a row without passing rats. out. 10 million passing out. Okay, so... We have a stack of coins. Teddy bear magnet. Okay, so now we can buy the, the machine. Let's leave. I will turn this off and turn it back on. I guess setting it to compatibility Vista mode was not the best idea. So let's save. Oh, it, it auto saved. Okay, that's good. I'm going to reload it, see if I can fix the audio. Wait a minute. Hmm. I think you guys hear it, don't you? But I'm not. Hmm. I'm doing a quick test. Yeah, yeah, it's not working. Okay. Go oh, wait. Yeah, it's not working. All right. Uh -oh. Yeah, it is working. I guess uh, I lost audio. Hmm. I wonder why. That's a bit annoying. It's probably my setup. Well, let's see here. If that's the case, I'm going to do a quick reset of my audio. There we go. And I think that fixed it. Oh, yeah, that fixed it. That fixed it. Okay, let's continue. Very annoying. My audio, the audio engine mess ups. Oh, what's this? The Alien Love Rectangle Post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Wait, would you? The Alien Love Rectangle Post. Rectangle. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among Alien Love Polygon tabloids. Yeah, I kind of thought the Triangle Post was or. Very strange. The King Lives. Oh. He didn't. <laughs> He didn't, uh... Elvis didn't die, he just went home. Aha. Uh -huh. Hulk, are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! I'm not trying to deliver something. I want to put the magnet on Hulk, your camera. are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you! <laughs> okay, I'll have to do it when he's not, uh, looking at me. Hey, Bosco. Let's see here. We want to buy something. We want to buy something. We oui, we, oui, monsieur. Give okay, us the listening device. Pants. Here's your ten million. By the sacred stench of Saint Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept, and in return, I give you the miniature listening device. It's a cockroach. This is a bug. Precisely. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Apparently it Listen does. Listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information. He's a military you bug. Need. You just make. Hey, enemy knight. How's it going? And I will repeat every word. Every word. 
we'll be putting it is situations that could be it is I, I as I mentioned earlier I wish that I Nam, boy you don't want to know what I've been through they slaughtered ladybugs ladybugs and that's not all <laughs> I've seen them kill larvae larvae huh? so oh, yeah caught. I think I can handle it now a I convention that sounds fun mission. put me in your pocket in your pocket move my head. sir yes sir uh, funny. Okay, we need to go back now. Alright. Yeah, I kind of wish that Telltale didn't go under like it did. I think it's because they... Where are we going, Sam? Oh, okay, I'll have to go check it out. I'll have to go check it out. Teddy bears mafia but yeah, yeah, I kind of wish casino. that... Goody! I really wish that Telltale didn't go under the way it did. I think the big problem, especially for Telltale games, was that... Welcome to Teddy bears. When, they re Play when they released The Walking Dead, Step right it was so up, popular that they started games. trying to hit all of the other very popular franchises. Which doesn't make any sense for a company, especially a small company like them, where you have to pay so many royalties just to... Yeah, you have to pay so many royalties just to use the... Uh, you know, the, the characters and the I stories. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Here. There we go. Okay. And now what we can do is we'll go ahead and use the bear, the bandit. You're on fire. Well, I mean, Still no prize. they did definitely, they definitely did overstretch Hold themselves. The password? Oh, oh, oh. all right, there we go. You we have the it. password. Yeah, they did overstretch themselves, but I feel like one of the other big problems was the fact that they kept going for licensed. Uh, you know, licensed properties. Game of Thrones, Batman, Minecraft, Walking Dead. They also did Back to the Future. And I, these are all uh, Borderlands. These are all properties owned by other companies. And unless they do a collaboration with the companies like they did with Borderlands or Minecraft, they actually have to pay for the rights. They paid good money to do a Game of Thrones game. And that's combined with the that combined with you know the fact that this is a very niche type of gameplay. I don't know many people who would play you know a point and click game or a you know story game with uh, yeah, branching paths. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's got to be what a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. All right, here we go. Okay. Hold it, Muggs. Not We want to go in. Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... What again? Why don't you tell me? Okay. Do the car... Yeah, here we go. Do the carpet, Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. <laughs> hey, me too! Oh. I'm sorry I asked. Okay. Uh, interesting. Leave the gun. Take the cannolis. You may enter. I think fire to the drapes. I think he... He might need to go see someone. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. As I said, as I, said I feel... That around here. I feel... Because they did have a lot of really good ball. franchises. For instance, Sam and Max was fantastic. Uh, how long have they you did been a fun us? Monkey long Island... Enough. They did fun Monkey Island did uh, story. Your win at poker was, oh. shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. Yeah, we're... 
We're very the smart. Mafia can use guys FBI brain, Mafia Softball scruples. League. There's a softball league. Yeah, yeah. This is the pre. This is before LA Noir was a thing. Okay. We're not that type of mafia. I thought this was the mafia free established. There you go. What mafia? Exactly. Okay. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, well, they're not there are animal two costumes. They're. They're actually a walking dog and a lagomorph. Three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Yeah. All the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Okay. Who do you want do you us want? to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, oh, no problem. Uh, okay, so Bosco is right. So how about who, about, who do we have to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, uh, so we'll be watching. Yikes. All right, so we're going to have... Okay, what, what do we need to recover? to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. That has to have to molded it so much. The disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. Okay, I know exactly what we're going to do. we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Verbal. Ah. Do they cover my drapes? The drapes. The drapes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe Why does it sound like he doesn't grow? Sam. Let's not chance it. Okay. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When Be you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. All right. So now we know what we need to do. Oh, hey, here we go. Monitors. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Or you yeah. can watch Mary Tyler Moore. Who told you about that? Mary Tyler. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's move. We have to, we have, oh yeah, we have to lean on Bosco. Yeah, they, I, w I was really hoping that Telltale would have continued with their own franchises. I would have loved to have seen more Sam and Max, more Monkey Island. I would have loved to have seen more, oh, the puzzle agent. It was such a shame that they closed down the way they did. All right, first things first, we're dealing with Bosco. Whee! Hey, Bosco. Oh, well, oh, wait, dealer. Hello. What are you doing here? What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? He's not no offense, talking to us. But you don't exactly blend in too well with the scenery. Okay, really, what? You must know. What are you doing here? Squelch it, dope. I'm here to make sure you deliver those bears to Bosco. Giant stuffed <laughs> animals mercilessly watching my every move. It's a childhood dream come true. Uh. Okay. Well, actually, they did re. Oh, bonjour. Uh, they did actually. Okay, a company remastered Sam and Max Save the World. However, this was... How old was that? Um, actually, let me do a quick peek. Let's 
see here. Because I do remember they did remaster this game, but there was lots of controversy behind it. So, one second while I load up Google. Do there you are. And 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 there. Oh, it didn't show up. Ah, uh, okay. Where are you? I th All right. One sec while I try and trying to get this to show up. Come on, brave. Come on, brave. Okay, there we go. Finally, it's working. Okay, so Sam and Max Save the World Remaster. Yeah, here it is. I believe, yeah, here it is. In 2020, wait, did they also remaster Beyond Space and Time? Because I see that for 2022. But yeah, they did remaster Save the World, but there's a lot of controversy behind it. Wow, $13. Now, where are you? Yeah, Skunk Cape Games. They're the ones who remastered it. And I said, there's a, yeah, they did do Beyond Space and Time. Interesting. All right, so... Pick it's you know pick and choose what you want when it comes to this, but the pretty much what they ended up doing with the remaster here is because they claimed there were insensitive jokes and there were ins it was it was insensitive, so they made edits to the actual story. For instance, apparently because Bosco here they said that the original voice actor because he was not black. They said that it was insensitive, so they recasted Bosco in the new story. And while the new person did an all right job, it didn't. It it, it sounds. Hey, Bosco. It's not this outlandish type of voice. It's not, it, so I think uh, it could have been done better. They could have found a, a better actor than they did. Another thing is they said that there are certain jokes that were made that they claimed was is nowadays is insensitive, so they deleted them. So. The remaster does exist, but it is censored and changed up for modern sensibilities. So because of that, I'm playing the original because, you know, screw you guys. This we're not playing the we're modifying art in order to appease the uh, to appease a modern audience. This isn't 1984. How does it be? Detached part do work again. If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street. All right. So let's, I guess we should later, try something. Sissy pants. Au reservoir, les enfants. I'm actually very curious. I wonder if, I wonder if they made any edits to Beyond Space and Time. Let's see, hey, I wonder how, we should probably see, maybe we can, look, Toy Mafia. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Oh, you are right. It is a toy mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. He will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. Oh, yes. What if his toy mafia disguise is just a disguise? I, I gotta see what he's reading. All right, so while he's doing that, let's deal with the camera. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. <laughs> yeah, eat pavement, camera. Hmm. The society <laughs> pages must be skull and bone. Oh, that was, oh, that's quite funny. The camera did not see it coming. All right, let's Whee! go ahead and put this down. He's pretending and to be the gardening section, so it's true. He is toy mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Oh no! Oh no! 
He's coming in. We're done for, y'all. Oh. I surrender. I surrender. Hey. Ah, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver, and he delivered. I can't All believe right. that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh, yeah, you're real busy. You've done nothing but loiter around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. Exactly. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Okay, so we've dealt with that. Now we need to go recover hey, the meatball stuff. Why didn't B Taz Pop do work? <laughs> My camera! Oh, no, no, no! All right. Yeah, actually, I said I'm very, very curious now if they changed Beyond Space and Time. I don't think Beyond Space and Time had nearly a because in this game there's a character. We just met him, and I just forgot his name. He's the magic man, and he's oh, coded as no, being... No, you got the he's quite person. coded. I mean dame. I mean dame person. Isn't dame person that... And uh, they changed that the in the, oh, the re-release. Max, thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... Let's see, how are your professional working out? How's your new profession How's working that out? How's new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The toy mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant murder. Okay, so you're going to have lots of trouble, aren't you? Well, this is what happens when you decide to be a professional witness. Are you going to testify? So, are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles oh, yeah. not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. What are you thinking of, Matt? Okay, then. I'm trying to think. Are there any body parts that, like... They, you know, that's similar to, uh, it, verbally to principles. Mm, I, I can't think of anything. I know, I know. Exactly, exactly. We'll be back. It, it's, I know you it, will. You're the only two I can. I trust. don't get the oh. ludicrousness really? of it all. She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. I really don't. I think when it comes to entertainment, a lot of people will be talking about how the, like for the period, the te the ten year period from 2016 to 2026 is the dark ages where everything uh, just got horribly mangled by. Oh wait, I need to go back. I just remember I need to collect her mug. I'm so glad they added in the run. I'm so very glad they added in the run. Yeah, it's the Dark Ages where scale, uh, things were strangely, weirdly modified for no reason. Thank you. We'll take your cup. Now let's go ahead and spruce this up a bit. So we're going to fake her, fake her death. I do know that some fans have, they've, so far, they've been working on, okay, I would have to look to see how it's gone. They've made a couple edits to Sam and Max, but I don't know how far it's gone. Oh, hey. Let's go ahead and get some sludging. Wouldn't want us leaving her cup there. Maybe some condiments? Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? There we go. Okay. 
So now we have ketchup. We have her mug. Let's go back. You want that alien poster? Oh, from Sybil. Let me go well back to Sybil's and Sybil's and check. Oh, those one. Those are actually quite fun. Sybil wouldn't want us leaving her cup there. Sybil wouldn't want us leaving her cup there. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me. Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally? Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, John. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey, Sam! Are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh, yeah! Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to rent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the Toy Mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard, even though they know you're a cheating jerk bag, I'm sure they'll believe you. 
Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder! Hey, I was gonna return it! Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mine. Hey, what? Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dumb. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sicken, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick! <laughs> okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is? Or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Stay rough! Stay rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Ooh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. Okay then, alright then. So let's see here, let's see here. What can we say? What can we say? I just noticed that I had my mic off for a second. So these, uh... I was commenting the... The be the UF the UFO alien pots. They would be quite fun. I can imagine a couple people would be quite uh, afraid of those. Yeah, the birds outside. They're trying to build. Oh, I hope they're not trying to build the nest again. Anyway, let's see here. We have yo mama jokes. Your mama's so fat, so radiant, so perky, rifty. Okay then, vulgar, punctual. Yo mama, so punctual. Okay. Let's see here. So let's see what she's so punctual. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. What? That doesn't even make sense. Whoops, let's try that again. Okay, let's yes, let's see here. Let's go here. Your mother is so I'm gonna go with We'll just go with the bo uh, so radiant. Yo, mama, so radiant. Oh, see here, she's so radiant. Um, her mouth would make a log horseman blush. She could beat Sam in best in show. No, not a limbo contest. So, where are you? She kn well. There's the one about punctual. Oh, that's this one. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, <laughs> little buddy. What? Okay, making it's grown true. a fun pastime for the whole family. Okay. There Your mama is so punctual. Should show up at her fu own funeral. She showed up early for her own funeral. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up a little, buddy. Okay. Torture by Mama Jokes. I wonder if this would actually be... I wonder if this could actually work. 
There you go. Your mom is so vulgar. So vulgar. Her mouth would make a uh, log for longs longshoreman blush. Okay. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. He's turning the color yeah. of a cherry. Okay, you mama so fat. Your mama's so fat. She knitted the sweater with all of her own material. Nope. That's not it. She brings coupons to the penny arcade. That's thrifty. And fold no, it's definitely not folding. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. That's supposed to make me feel bad? Let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna go with thrifty. Your mama's so thrifty. Oh there it is. She has more folds than an origami accord. There we go. Okay. She knitted a sweater with all her own materials. What I should kind have... of insult is that? Let's try that again. Alright, we're going for the... I should have so read fat. these more than just skimming them. She has more folds than an origami accordion. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Okay, here we go. Your mom was so, so perky. perky. There you go, this one. She beat out Sam for best in show. Hey, what? That doesn't even make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Your mom is so perky. Okay, then. She's... The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Okay. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> I think uh, okay, okay. I think it might be the. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything oh, to dishonor your, your grub life. <laughs> I never even took. I was the thinking of the, the different casino. word for perky. Hit it in the prize slot of the one arm bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's, Where's the, the arm? arm? I got it right here. There we go. Thanks, jerk bag. How did you not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker. Wait, aren't you going to untie me? Hello? Guys? Nope. We're leaving Jimmy? you here. Anybody? Technically, your legs aren't tied. You could actually walk away if you wanted. All right, either way, we are, we are doing well. We are doing Where are we well. going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! As I said, as I said, I'm. I'm gonna have to look up and see if they've changed anything in. Welcome to Teddy Bear. Beyond Mafia Space and Time. Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losing is slot. Did you in see? Town. Because I'm. I was quite interested in the Tomb Raider remake, or the remaster for 1, 2, and 3. But apparently, they've gone ahead and made a bunch of edits to it. Or, even though they said they weren't going to, and they even have a, a weird, they even have a weird disclaimer in front of the game. Like, uh, what is wrong with everybody? If I watch a movie from the 60s, or if I play a game from the 70s, I'm not going to think, oh, Should we taste it to make sure? you know, it's going to have modern sensibility. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to have modern sensibilities. That thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. All right, we have a sandwich. What a piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Mm. Yes, oh yeah, it's that's definitely molding. the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. <laughs> You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting right. our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me.
All right, let's go. Sam, Max, but yeah, you yeah. Have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. I don't know why nowadays people think if I watch, some, if I read a book from the 1820s, that it should have the same menta mental sensibilities as modern time. Like, you have to have some level of insanity to expect that culture and society has remained the same since you were alive, around. It's so weird. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that get up. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor. Exactly, exactly. The it makes power that the zero sense. And but the what most crazy the part is teddy bear. there was a, teddy a fan bears. who decided to oh, mod out the... mod out the... Yes, uh, the... The message, and they also so, removed some of the yeah, other yeah. intro stuff to help you get into the game faster. And Nexus Mods deleted it, saying that it was inciting, you know, a whole lot of. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number you know, of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Nexus Mods is. Yes. It's going down the drain, so I, it's pretty soon we're gonna have to find another place to get. Mart. We'll have to find another place to get mods. Horribly, horribly Okay, we should probably get out of here. I wonder if I can... Hmm, I wonder what to do. Maybe I can shoot them. No dice. That would hardly be sporting. No Maybe that would be... Okay, I guess. Can I s maybe? It is a it is a big big joke right now. No can do. All right, so what do I do here? Oh oh, I know. Maybe. Uh, maybe I shoot this. Ah, alright, alright. No. Okay, we're gonna try this again. There we go, got it. Is all that right. all? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go yeah, take down that fat little fraud. I don't get all. why yeah, like Hold on, modding everybody. games should it should just be hey. you're doing whatever you want. I don't understand why Nexus Mods decided to start hey, becoming publishers, start. and well, uh, we're going to, to we're going to put our own planning. ideology well, and our own preferences into what of you're allowed to do. Much less a it's uh, it, it's it's dumb. It's very dumb. Behind any door that says, "Do not enter under pain of death." Oh, you should be in there. All right, let's see here. Workstation, chalkboard. Oh, a mini bar. I wonder what's in here. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? Well, then let's get let's grab. It. All right. Oh, hey. That is a very weird ashtray. All right, let's head on over here. I just know that I am very untrusting of online. So I tend to, if I find something I want to keep hold of, I will download it. So I downloaded lots of different mods, especially ones that Nexus Mod removes, not because I want to use them, or because if I agree with them, but because of the fact that they are being effectively, uh, you know, the people from 1984. They're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to tell us what we're supposed to think and what we're supposed to do. I'm like, no. If you're going to say I'm not allowed to have it, I'm going to download it just so that I have a copy. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. 
I ask you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. Uh, what he said. <laughs> really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, let's see here. Oh, I have the pet cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is oh, that, I like that. Sting? Shoot your friend. Yeah, <laughs> Explodes. <laughs> and only two days to retirement. We got a promise. Team the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me. I wonder if they changed okay, that too. Okay, all cowards die a thousand deaths. <laughs> all heroes die but once, unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh friend, and may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right. Well. So cold. <laughs> Why am I so cold? Uh, overplaying his hand a bit, isn't he? Oh, you're stuck. Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, yeah, I was about, I was about to shoot him as well. Now, slave, like, I don't. You know, I wasn't. While I read the paper. He looked like he Just wasn't going to end. For you can take them around later. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. I know, I know. It's so good. Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective needs. I can't hear you. I'm dead. Okay, let's see here. Now we need to mess with something. Oh, hey, there's the bandit. Oh, oh, I, th I know, I know. We need a teddy bear. I want to get one. Get the bear. Get the bear. All right, we got one. isn't that cute? Okay. Now we're gonna put this right here. I doubt I could hypnotize that. Oh. I want to screw I could hypnotize that. Anybody got a screw loose? Okay. Menacing computer. This is quite a gizmo. Alright, well I I know what I want to do. I want to change the hypno thing. Can I use the screwdriver? Here we go. Oops. You're on fire. There we go. Pick the voice box. Oh, maybe I put it in the bear. Okay. Hmm. Let's pull the lever. Well, that didn't do much. Ah, I know what I need to do. Fire extinguisher. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Oh, it's not even that is a that is a OSHA violation if I ever saw one. Okay, so I need to combine these together. Now how do I combine them? Mm hmm Maybe Hey Colton, how's it going? I already broke it once already. Yeah, I know, but we want to now combine these together. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. Okay, medicine computer, unintellig unintelligible console. Okay. 
Uh, maybe I... Th hmm. Let's see here. Maybe... I have no clue. Maybe I shoot the actual teddy bear? Ominous computer. Ominous machinery. Nefarious. Yeah, I kind of forgot what to do at this point. So we have the bandit. We have the ominous machine. I feel like it has to do with the voice box. You're on fire. I can't use the voice box there. Yeah. I'd, oh, maybe. Hmm. This is quite a gizmo. Oh. I think these ah, are here we go. Found it. All right. Hypnotic bears. Okay, let's go ahead and voice box. Okay, so if I put this framel rut in this flingle flipper. There we go. Alright, I figured it out. And there's our bear. Nice, okay. You're on fire. Aw, isn't that cute? Oh, that would be, uh... Th imagine the level of chaos one would have if you had a, a hypnotic bear. I know she's married now, and you're like, just telling everyone they're on fire. Hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's go ahead and pull the lever. Here goes nothing. I have to remember, this game was... It's kind of a slightly dumbed-down version of the old classic point-and-click games. Because if this was an earlier Lucasfilm game, I could guarantee, guarantee, that I would have to pick up a bear, I would have to cut nice it open, work, I would then have to replace it, Put the bear back into the machine good. and then go. try and get the guy to grab it. But uh, in this case, they help. went a much more simpler route. I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? Oh. I forget which color means I can't These aren't the droids you're looking for. Yes, uh, yes. Ah, so fun. I'm surprised that the, De the DeSoto survived. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. <laughs> You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner oh. <laughs> will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. Squirrel Garden? Hard work I did, I want to... no, Squirrel Garden? With extra salt. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, the name of the person is Hugh Bliss. Oh. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Hello, Mr. Um... U.S. FBI person. All right, chapter three is done. Ah, oh, these games are so fun. I'm actually surprised they made their own little jingles for this. All right, so while we're waiting... Okay. So what we're looking for here is save the world. Oh. You're right, it does have that kind of vibes, doesn't it? Actually, 
This is actually quite a fun song. I could definitely picture this in a in a commercial. Not a recent commercial, more like maybe a, an 80s commercial. Oh, definitely. De All right. I I think I think that's exactly the case. This song would've been in an 80s style commercial for selling teddy bears like Rub um uh, Ruff's, Teddy Ruffskin. 2008. Wow, that is a long time ago. That is a long, long time ago. All right. Time to move on to chapter four. Did you know, could you actually believe chapter four, they actually gave it out for free when the game first came out. The reason why was because it's about the U.S. president and voting. And in 2008, we had a a rather important a, a rather important event going on so because of that they yeah they released this one for free all right let's load this one up it was quite annoying actually because it was the only chapter that did not require me to have to contact the because back then, in order to prevent people from pirating the Telltale games, you would have to submit a code to them. And then when you submitted the code, they would then give you an unlock code. So the only way to play the game and install it on your computer was to do the unlock coding. And I did that because I really wanted Telltale to do well. So I supported them. I bought the games. I put in the codes. And this was the only chapter that didn't need it, which was so annoying. Actually, I was very happy. I mean, it, it's never happy when a, a company goes under, or go, it goes under. But when Telltale Games did go bust, I will not, I will say I was very happy that they, um, I was very happy that they re-released all of the games without the without the login credentials required pretty much they made the games drm free and to everyone who had purchased the library so i have all of the old telltale games that i purchased drm free and i can play them anytime i want now which is quite nice and i don't quite nice quite nice first things first before i load up chapter four i wanted to do a quick check at sam and max remaster um censorship yeah they here's a oh 2020 here's all of the censors that they did yeah they censored a lot of old jokes ah here you go censorship wiki Yeah, yeah. I remember they did change quite a bit in chat. I, I, I want to see if they also did any changes to uh, Beyond Space and Time, which was the second one. So they removed this one. I do not understand why they changed this one. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. I don't understand why they got rid of that joke. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to change that joke. It really doesn't. Let's see here, chapter two. The skin bodies are the skinheads, but 10 times worse. This doesn't even make any sense. This is a joke about... Ah, these, again, the, these, these two changes make zero sense. Chapter three, this is the one we were just playing. You may call me Jean Franz Sissy Pants. The cowardly French anarchist was changed to John Francis Bon Apart. The new wave French anarchist. These these changes make zero sense to me. They really do not make any sense to me, especially for these three chapters. Oh, here you go. Where to find the uncensored? The original game is complete. Well, well, that's what we're playing right now, but... Anyway. 
the line take uh, our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along was changed to take our complimentary wide fit goggles designed for playing while bicycling or enjoying full contact sports these the new jokes the new jokes suck horribly oh there's they're so bad. Oh, they're so bad. Okay. Did they change... Did they change beyond space and time? Okay, let's see here. I was very excited the remaster version of the first game, but after I read about all the changes, I held off buying it. The script beyond says was completely untouched. They did keep the new voice for Bosco. Except for the suicide joke at the end of episode three and the Monty Python reference in episode four. We found that talking Sam X body parts breaks. So they did actually edit the Beyond Space and Time as well, just not as much. Uh, all right, well, well, that just let's hear. There's an actual UK Sam and Max UK website. Interesting. So flowing with insane censor. Dare to alter the game with that. All right, so at least you can get the um, you can at least you can get the originals. They didn't mess with those. I have a feeling this is just an ad. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and start chapter two. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and oh sorry, let's go ahead and just start chapter four. But yeah, that's very annoying. I don't understand the changes that they made to the story. I really don't, or to the the jokes the. Those jokes were innocuous at worst. Uh, like it just. I am reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug uh, into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? <laughs> yes, yes. 14 packs no. a day. Who? Yes, sweet suffering Saint Sebastian. Actually, I do know Susan some people who have smoked, who do smoke that much, and they do sound like. Uh, they do sound like a violin and a meat no, grinder. We have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time the President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. Oh. There you go. You gotta like the commentary. He's doing all of these horrible things. It doesn't affect me, so it doesn't bother me. And then finally, here's one thing that it does impact you. So you're all, all right, let's 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 deal with the president. Uh, fun commentary. Yeah, I know. I think maybe the worst part is that they lied about their changes. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil, and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. 
Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. All Let's right. Bring the hammer down on that so-called commander in chief. Yeah. Okay, then. Let me go ahead and turn on the subtitles real quick. There we go. Okay. Oh, hey. Can I get the boxing glove? Hey, my missing boxing glove! Please do it's not always in the last feed place the sub... Look. Wait. Please do not feed the submarine. <laughs> what can you feed a submarine, anyway? Exactly. Are you listening? All right. Do not feed the submarine. Oh, hey, what is Jimmy Two Teeth doing here? Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? What are you oh, doing here? The world. What are you doing here? Name drop. I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. I wonder if we can shoot his floaty. That would hardly be sporting. Oh, come that on, would shoot hardly him. Be sporting. Uh can we at least shoot the floaty? Alright, anyway, let's Let's go. Alright. Okay, let us in. We want to talk to the president. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a exactly. minute, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, no. this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinth and logical. Hey, Exo, how's ah, it going? Emotional violence. Good plan. We're right now trying to break into the White House to punch the president. Did you call yourself you Super call Bowl? Super Bowl? Code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Super Bowl. I get it. All right. I want to talk to your manager. To talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. This is Sam and Max Save the World. We're playing the 2008 release because the 2018 release, the remaster that was released in 2018, is censored. They edit, they made a lot of changes to that game because apparently they thought the jokes were too offensive. Which is, have they ever been to a comedy club? These are very benign jokes. So the fact that they thought that they were too sent they were too sensitive is uh it's it's special. The the re the people who remastered it, they're quite special. Don't you get bored guarding this door? Exactly. It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part, keeping the president safe. Hey Super Bowl, I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. <laughs> Uh, let us in, pal. We're yeah, let us police, in. Here to save the president. I thought we exactly. were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Yeah, seriously. seriously. Jack, let, us in. let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm. It's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Is there any... Is that all you can do? Guard this door? Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy It's a point and click game. Head. I would definitely recommend it. It's there quite entertaining. It's work, public relations, six chapters long. I'm a people person, the first sir. one is Save the World is six chapters long. And each chapter can be roughly about an hour. So yeah, you can Yeah, it, it's a good it's a good short play. They have you guys going doing odd jobs they too. Have you guys doing odd jobs too? Cut back, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! 
What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Okay, I wonder how we're going to get by him. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Ball. Perp's exiting Zone 4 now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Yeah, I don't think we want to... There is a small we... mailbox here. Uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Now that's government efficiency for you. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Okay. Th Christmas lights. I'm currently dealing with the government right now Everything for paperwork so reasons, and renovate, the U.S. And government the has so it, it's so inefficient and such a pain in the butt to work with. Oh, I hate it! I hate it so much. I would rather deal with any other government than. Oh, hey, we have a phone. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid five 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 phones. Yes, actually, five 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 one nine eight four. Hey, hey, 1984. Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> All right. Suspect hey, poster. yourself. That's so Madonna. Suspect yourself. All right, interesting. Valet. They have valet parking for two dollars. That is actually very cheap. Oh. That is actually very, very cheap. And I don't... The number nine hole. All right. Okay, let's go back to the... Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office so we can make back a phone call. Office. I'll drive. Not while I'm alive. Exactly. All right. I've learned, I think I've learned it up to, hmm, I believe I learned it up to four digits, 3.14159, okay, five digits, I learned five digits. And the reason why was because I needed the precision up to, whenever I was doing calculations, I needed the precision to go up that high. So I, I made sure to remember 3.14159. Okay. Now we're here. Oh, well, let's check out our closet. Hi, how's it it's going, our Leonard? Favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? We lock Good. someone in the closet. <laughs> it's our favorite shifty card. I can't. How you doing, Leonard? Good. Good. All right. Poor uh, Jesse James's hand to pray. I bet it's his. Poor uh, Leonard. Apparently, he's going to be. Ooh, poor Leonard. A very disturbed individual sits here. Yeah, that's Sam's. That's Sam's desk. Okay, let's try and call the number. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. Mista Pizza. Oh, Mista Pizza. Mista Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh yeah. Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> Why would asbestos pizza? Calling, that doesn't Sam? sound... Not a... The White House. I would definitely not eat that. Uh, if you check the baby... I'll be right there. Hello, please Hello. hold. Please hold. Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello. Is anyone there? Okay, let's head on back to... Okay, let's head on back. We should be able to... You want the... You want Sam in... Or sorry, you want Max in plush form. Actually, I'm not... I'm a bit surprised they never did that. Where are we going, kinda... Sam? I think Telltale would have actually made a killing on Max House. dolls. Oh boy! He has a very interesting design, and actually, to, to be fair, I believe Sam and Max is Whee! owned by someone else. Come to think of it, I don't think Telltale 
I know that they bought the rights now, from Lucas Arts to make Sam and Max games. This federal pudding oh. embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially it's like pudding. that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! Oh. No, oh, no. We're going to have to deal with our... We're going to have to deal with him. Oh, globe. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. Oh, a ribbon. Hey, now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. Hands off, boy! That's my presidential calendar! Okay, I wonder what we can... I guess maybe we need to talk to... Oh, what is this? What is the eagle holding? I see gas, and what's that? Churros? Churros and gas. Alright. Oh, and this one has a gun Take and... A gun and money. I love this country. Okay. All right, let's go talk to the president. Maybe we can get... Good day, Mr. President. Hopefully we can we knock some sense into him. As far as you know. <laughs> oh, finally! The interpreters. Where have you been? Um... Interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Because I got a meeting with one of them foreign dignitaries. Always talking that crazy space language. You've had your Oh, I've eaten churros quite a bit. They're delicious. Though, to be fair, if the type of churros that I've had, they were mostly made in uh, the South, in South Carolina and Georgia, th that area. And they're... They're churros, but not exactly churros, if you kind of know what I mean. So the ones I've had were good. All right, so let's see here. Uh, who are we meeting today? Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. Oh, try to eat the cat. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown uh, up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Don't. Well, you just said you just used a double negative. Of course I have to touch something. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Freelance police? Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Finally. Someone who appreciates our greater calling. Uh, okay. The good work, Mr. President. Right, you let's... gotta know when to hold him, know when to fold him. The man's a genius, Sam. Mm. I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. Okay, let's go talk to Chuckles. That's hey, a clown's you name. work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we yes. don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. This can only end in violence. Oh yes, he's a very sassy boy, you isn't he? Him, Max? Half the time I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? You seem familiar. Oh, I know yeah, he's the guy who's in the. Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats, the surly tone. I've got it. He's from the You're mafia. The pit boss from the toy mafia. I smell a conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. Wow, he sounds like he's part of the mafia. 
Are you sure you're not an are you sure you're not a mafia first and FBI agent second instead of the other way around? What's the toy mafia got to do with the secret service? What toy mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. <laughs> That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run oh, along. He's a very play. surly fellow, isn't he? Leader of our country. They're very... You, you, my friend, would... Things would go along a lot more smoothly if you didn't insult people so frequently. What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take time? Oh, yeah, we should we definitely... We a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. Oh, we should definitely pummel him. I think he deserves it. What do you do around here? All right. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Yes, yes. You should be proud and happy that we'll be back. How do we get rid of him? Oh, I know. Let's go to Bosco's. Hands off the cameras. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we need to. Whee! Okay, let's talk to the president again, real Hello, quick. Hello, Mr. President. Snap out of it, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized. I'm... Sure, I haven't been hypnotized. That's crazy talk. You've got to listen to us, sir, or we'll be forced to take drastic action. Don't talk to me about drastic action. You ever been pinned down in a drugstore parking lot by a pack of muskrat commandos with nothing left to lose? Ever had to gnaw your best buddy's leg off just so you could get his socks and put them on your own ears to fend off the enemy's deadly sonic <laughs> regurgitator ray? Now uh, that's crazy talk. I'm uh... impressed. That is crazy talk. We'll be back, sir. Okay, I guess we need to go. We, we should go talk to Bosco. Maybe we can find something from Bosco and from Sybil. Hello. 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 Where are we going, Sam? Man, our back bill is going to be gigantic. Shotgun! He's still on the phone waiting. He is one dedicated. FBI agent. Wow. Oh. All right, Sybil. What job are you doing today? Dating service. All right. Interesting. Hey, Sybil. Oh, she goes through a lot of random career. She changes her furniture Hi, almost every time we I'm visit. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil <laughs> and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service. <laughs> oh, I like... I figured that if a uh, smart, that's, successful I like career that. woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Sybil, have you thought that the, maybe the reason why you don't have a date is because you keep jumping around like a jackrabbit i think every single time we visit you you've changed professions you've changed i think the only thing that hasn't changed is your character model let's see here you can't You're get a date trouble finding your soulmate you don't know the half of it it seems like all the guys i meet are total losers no offense none taken hey or else they're borderline psychopaths no offense. Men taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. Okay, then. Let's see here. What kind of man are you looking what for? What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn-on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. <laughs> All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. Uh... Sam, Max, I think you could... Ah, oh, you guys are silly. All right, then. What's your next What's career? Next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Oh, you're Volcano definitely going to change jobs Good again. Point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. Anyway, so let's move. 
Okay, so apparently in this chapter we're going to have to find a match for Sybil. So I guess what we need to progress the game is over in Bosco's. So let's head over to the Bosco's and oh oh, I think we just found. Whoa, look, Max, it's Hugh Bliss. Favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? Okay, then, what are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, uh, I'm spreading the great news about That Bliss is a lot of books. The magic and science of unlocking the harmony that of is a lot for of books. a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! I don't think there are that many languages. Okay, maybe he's also including alien languages and and fantasy languages, because that's a that's a lot of languages. Have you are sold any so books yet? Well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. Okay. Uh, how would one sell? Okay, I'm now. I'm now quite curious. Max just said he tried to sell the laughter of a child. How would one sell the laughter of a child? I am very, very curious. Who? Oh, I'm trying to think. The easiest route would be to just, you know, record a child laughing and then try and put it in like a teddy bear. But knowing Max, he would have actually involved kidnapping an actual child and then trying to make it laugh. Maybe he drugged a child. Uh, yeah, that might be it. To sell the laughter of a child, Max probably kidnapped a, a little kid, drugged him to, with, like, Joker's laughing gas, so he's constantly laughing, and then tried to sell it on the market. That's the only thing I can think of. And yeah, yeah, Hugh Bliss is... I think that's the point. He's supposed to look scary. What was your book about again? Genetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all! Oh! Yeah, I like the cover. It's a... No, really. What's, What's your book about? What's this prismatology nonsense really about? Oh, yeah. this is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit in a rainbow of true bliss. Ah. I'm really excited! Uh -huh. He's and not ex that? Okay. Simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. Okay. No, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. Doing He's that? He's just talking Mix gobbledygook. Mix it with the indigo of your imagination, and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. Look, we're not green lanterns. Wow, we don't have access. So we don't have access to the color... Uh, yeah, we don't have access to the emotional color spectrum. Maybe, maybe you write a book that doesn't require us to first become part of the Green Lantern Corps. Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> less chatter, more magic. Okay, exactly. how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Okay, we're taking a book. Oh yeah. Okay, we're Hi, gonna try again. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Can you disappear again? Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big. Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see here. Can I There we go, we'll take this. Hey, a free home delivery sign. There we go. Okay. All right, we took something. All right, we took something at least. Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. Why would Okay. 
that would be very inconvenient. Action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at Wait. least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. <laughs> Pointing and okay, what's the other one say? Mafia owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. Uh oh, funny. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Attacked by two-headed monkey. Tibet monk. Oh, the other one was about Tibet monk. Ah, greetings, comrades. Dog and now he's pretending to be Russian. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm. I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskovorsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. No? No. But now no. I make new start in America, which I love. So is no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. Yeah, why the, the Soviet bloc, Bosco? Yeah, why the He's Russian perfect. disguise now? I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. They know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. <laughs> uh. Okay, then. What is? Why, why is the government, is the government watching you? Bosco? I'm know. very curious. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target him. Boy, he is quite deranged, isn't he? What's that smell? Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. That is smelly. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? What other customers? <laughs> Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old uh, friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. Uh, so funny. So apparently, the only reason why this convenience store is still around. Most likely it's because Sam and Max keeps giving him ludicrous amounts of money. Because apparently no one else shops here. Technically, I wouldn't want to shop here. He's crazy. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. So they are molding, my friend. If you have not cleaned them, they are molding. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Ed's oh, we already heard, heard that. We want to buy something. Buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. Evil but <laughs> okay. So he he's copying the Russian accent and the hat, but he's not going to co copy the philosophy. Look, you even have the symbol on your store, and you you got to practice and. Capitalism, you... You liar. Okay, what do you, do you have? have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the Mystery Vortex? Yet. That's a reference for, to the Semimax at the road. Do you have any Lobster Pots brand cereal? Yet. Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yet. Do you have oh. any wiener cozies? Da, we just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh boy! Wait, did you say wiener cozies? I thought you said Navajo blankets. How are they? We're all out of wiener cozies. What? How? How could you confuse the two? Do you have any Navajo blankets? Yet. <laughs> that is hilarious. He's just lying to us. Do you He's just have any lying. Potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. What do you got? Uh -huh. His most glorious invention, comrade, is useful for how you say questioning. Questioning. His true serum, 
makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. Truth serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Okay, your I'd like to see... Sucks. Hey, it's already working. <laughs> All right, give us the truth like serum. That truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 8675309 rubles. How much is that in real money? 100 million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Bosco Boy. That is, whoa, 100 million. Brings great strength to our economy. Wow, where am I going to get 100 million? Nothing for us right now. That is ludicrous. Do you... I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the whoa, 100 comrade. million. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. A satellite? How are you? Okay, how are you making that? How are you making a? All of your stuff is half baked. Like bear against attack. I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now <laughs> anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. Oh, uh, okay. See you later, Bosco. Interesting, interesting. He's no Bosco, comrade. Is only loyal worker Baskovorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. Okay. So I have a strange suspicion that. Hey, Margie, how's it going? How's it going? So I have a strange suspicion that I have to do everything in the White House. And then I can start dealing with all of the people here. I do have a sign, though. Yeah, I do have a sign. So let's head on back. Maybe maybe we'll figure out what to do there. Where are we going, Sam? To the White House. We're off to the White House. Oh boy. All right. Whoa. That sounds bad. Who? Toxic best friend. That's uh that sounds quite not fun. No, sir. So what do you mean by they were being toxic? Oh, it, it's a we have very the... important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Head ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here, uh, thing, would you? Funny, you funny. Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh no, momento, por favor. Impatient little guy, ain't he? Ah, uh, so funny. Okay, let's go talk to the president. Okay, so we now know what we need to do. Hello, Mr. President. We're ready to interpret. We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you. How long uh. can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. Oh, okay, let's see here. How long can this epidemic continue? Prepare to die, capitalist operator. What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Let's take a break. <laughs> okay. I guess let's do this one. What's a guy got to do to get a drink What's around a guy here? What's got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. And ice cold orange sugar fizz. 
I swear by him. No! That's not what I want at all! I must resist, but I am thirsty, and just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost oh, wow. feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. <laughs> What's your excuse? Uh. Ooh, talk about an addict. <laughs> oh, blessed angels of carbonation. <laughs> okay. <Fill me> with <laughs> now I don't feel too bad water. about it. He, he's yeah, a bit crazy. I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Exactly. More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Um... Which way is the... Which way is Lincoln's bedroom? Which way is the war room? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! But I don't... Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation? Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me go! Oh, the new hunter is out. Okay, I'll have to check her out. Catch all that. What did he say? Wait, let me guess. We have to wait a month before we can play. And, wow, that's not a very nice person. It's probably a good thing you broke ties if uh, they're actively... Attack or messing with people. Oh, we should totally punch the president now. The guy is now missing. Time for some checks and balances. Freelance All right, let's. Style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look at fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Oh. They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like oh. that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> So these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas. Still, Rady Sam did it. Well, Max, you're not helping. Why do you keep saying I did it? Town cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. But now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and the Gambe. We are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Oh. Ah, uh, it looks like we're going to be fighting Abraham Lincoln. Not yep. quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? Yeah, what is... Oh yeah, it's Abraham Lincoln. He's coming. The new hunter is weird. I'll have to... That means you've played as her, so I'll have to give it a try. Blessed scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, he's efficient. <laughs> My fellow uh. Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear How? and despair. Okay. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it. Uh, what's that? Uh huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number. That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln the wins commissioner the is very election, good at finding us. That is quite crazy, is it? Unchecked power to destroy That's the very crazy. World. He he can I find us so easily. That. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. 
<laughs> oh, you gotta love that. Because you get to pick the phone up, yes. then I get to run for president. I, I, I feel like that's a... That's not a comparable trade-off. Either way, Max is going to run for president now, so... Alright, so now that we have that... Oh, hey, here's this head. It's oh, we get him. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. You're thinking of Medusa's head. Oh yeah, I always get those two heads confused. Oh hey hey hey, cue cards. It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. That's oh you know what that means? We have ourselves a sign. Free home delivery. We're gonna add that into the cue cards. Free home delivery. All right. TV secret agent. Oh, who do you like in the election? My money's on Lincoln, and Lincoln's on my money. Clever. My money is on Lincoln. Lincoln is on. All right. What about the TV camera? Hi, America. It's me, Max. Remember, oh. a vote for me is a vote for prosperity, alacrity, and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. I can't help but feel like that would actually be quite... You'd probably get a couple Wait. votes, actually, for that. Especially nowadays. Alright, Lincoln. What about you? Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. So I just assumed uh, I'd be running unopposed. Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all uh, that! I freed the slave! I was star of a popular television sitcom! I'm on the penny! I was on TV! Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like a uh, through moderate reason. I can't help but feel like we would... Very well, then. With the candidates that the U.S. Uh, the U.S. currently has this, I could actually picture this type of conversation actually happening. As we bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. president. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. And representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic rabbit-like creature known as Max. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. All right, let's see here. The nation demands family values. Do you have any? All right. Mr. Lincoln, perhaps you'd like to speak about the importance of family values. Of course. A strong family unit is the rock upon which our society is built. It's easy today in this age of your blinged out horseless carriages and racy daguerreotype magazines to believe that honesty and fidelity are outdated concepts. But I stand proud. I have been completely faithful to my lovely wife, Mary Todd, for over seven score years. I've never even looked at another woman. Interesting, interesting. Let's see here. Hey! Let's see here. What's Let's talk about the issues that Contestants, may it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head as I have nothing prepared. Okay. What do you plan to how do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Where do you stand on religion in schools? How would you describe your tax plan? Actually, these are pretty accurate. These are actually pretty accurate concerns. There's a huge concern right now about the environment and the... Yeah, environment is a very important topic right now. Religion in schools, it, I'm... It's still actually in conversation right now as well. And don't get me started on taxes. Uh, okay, anyway. What about toxic waste? To solve the problem of toxic waste? 
free home delivery. Ah. Uh -huh. Effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. Nader. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I need to... So I, I kind of know what I want to do. Sybil's looking for... He's He is currently running on family values. So what we're going to do is we're going to slander him. Since Sybil is currently doing a dating profile and she's looking for someone to date, what we need to do is we need to get her to Where are we going, Sam? have a controversy with him. Back to the office. Shotgun. Actually, I wonder how we can get a picture of, it, of Lincoln so we can... Oh yeah, we're totally going to... Totally going to slander. Actually, with and you think about it, right now with how AI is progressing so rapidly, oh, hey, so we're gonna have to have a the dating game. topics about Jerry, slander of political parties and political members is going to be a very big issue. Oh, I don't even want to begin to imagine what it's going to be like in the future when everyone can create a fake video on their cell phone for the just, you know, I could just simply type a, type in the script, Apple make video of. Sam and Max, I know, eating spaghetti and then tell everybody, look, they, they said they were allergic to tomatoes and here they are eating spaghetti. How many matches have you have How made? many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups and a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. <laughs> All right. Can you find um can you find us a date? So uh, yeah, can you find Could us you a date? Find dates for Max and me? Seriously? This is scary accurate. I mean, sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Stranger things have happened, I guess. I agree, I agree. Somewhere. I'm choosing not oh. to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. This is actually, uh, it's surprising. This game was released in 2007. And the next chapter that we'll play is actually going kind of very, t uh, talks very much around about what's going to happen right now. Uh, the next one is Reality 2.0. Right now we're trying to become the U.S. president. Okay, we want to submit what an application. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits. And what kind of person you're looking for? Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at Just totally making this up. compatibility point. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree uh, on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Let's see here. I'm more of a, I'm less of a matrix and more of a vector. Ah, oh, you gotta love these. So these props to their writers. Props, props to the writers that Telltales. I'm very spiritual. She should have an air of mystery. She should love animals. That's all I can think of. Okay, she should, she should love animals. Well, let's see here. Um. All right, yeah, let's just do that. She, she should love animals. animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic <laughs> implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. Okay, Max, what kind of person are you looking for? She should be... have an air of she mystery. She have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when press, revealing nothing. Okay, uh, Max, you're crazy. She should love the outdoors. Okay. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of the office. <laughs> okay, you have a comeback for everything, don't you, Max? All right, what about spiritual? Very spiritual. 
a disciple of the ancient ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth. Rise, Shigarath! Rise, Abyag Solemn! Exactly, Sam. He's just... It's like verbal diarrhea. There's probably nothing going on in his head, and he's just saying whatever comes to mind first. I lead in an active lifestyle. Always running from the authorities. Yeah. Uh, okay, she should be she tall. She should be tall. At least 12 feet, or 4 meters if she's Canadian. Yeah, it's just... It's just I can appreciate a person's pure, non, uh, pure cognitive nonsense that he just likes to spew out. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. And she's making, as I said, she's making this and stuff Sam, up. Your ideal soulmate is. Wait for it, Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. Oh come on, you two, you're detectives. It's pretty obvious she doesn't have anything behind her desk. Okay, so let's see here. How does the dating service work again? Oh, so let me think here. So how are we going to... So we know what she's looking for. It's pretty much a, someone like Abraham Lincoln. I think we need to grab a so form. Seven. Can I grab a form? Here we go. You boys want to try the dating scene again? No, thanks. Last time was too horrifying. Just drop an application in there if you change your mind. Yeah, yeah, I want to get an application. Let's see here. Cactus. Over here, maybe? There's a fan. Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, I would like to... I want to get an application. I wonder where I can find the applications. Okay, let's... Hmm. Dating service, the end, boxes. Alright, let's head back into the office. Maybe we might have something in there. I know we have Leonard. Oh, we have the television. Coat hanger. What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. Okay, no. VCR, no. Rat hole. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. You always say that. Actually, he's kind of right. Whenever I have a, bull a bulletin board, it always gets filled up with random stuff. And then ultimately, it, it just everything just kind of lives on the board. I know that... Yeah, so when it comes to making notes, I think... You have to have a very particular type of personality to get, take full advantage of a bulletin board. Okay, how... Now, where do I find the... Let's see here. Fire hydrants. Stinkies. Hmm. Alright, let's... Go. I guess let's going, go back Sam? to the White House, then. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! I have. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I haven't been. Oh, wait, oh, all right. I about to say for a second, I was wondering if he's still on the payphone there. Let's see here. Camera agent, flyer. There you go. There you go, flyer. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you. Honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. There we go, perfect. So now we have the flyer. We can we can put that in the application thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Where are we going, Sam? Alright. Back to the office. I was actually kind of expecting to 
get an application from her, but anyway. Let's go drop this off and then hope that should we'll drop this off, have another uh, another conversation over the network, and then from there. Hey oh, Sybil, how goes the dating game? Computer generated love is in the air. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Application. There we go. And there we go. Nice. What's this? A new application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not the Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. <laughs> that chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marketability. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. All right. Okay, so... Now... All right, now we need to try and get her there. Oh, I know, I know. I know exactly what we... I know. All right. We have a bug. I need to... Okay, I have a bug. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White Back House. to the. Oh boy! The bug apparently can mimic voices, so we're going to record Abraham Lincoln, and then we'll call Sybil over our, the phone at our place. All right, organic listening device. There we go. Okay. Mr. Lincoln. Would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk! Save it for the debate, Max. Uh... Oh, fun, fun. Is it just me, or does it feel like... Again, US politics, it feels like... Actually... Come to, to be fair, British politics are very similar. I was surprised with how much insults Where get thrown going, around Sam? in the UK Parliament. Um, Parliament. Back to the office. Usually, you would like to think of politics as being quite distinguished and more upper class. People being dignified and having conversations, trying to have civil conversations, not to have insults flung around and people insulting your people just insulting you but apparently it happens in the British Parliament and it's happening in the US right now with the again with the current election this is actually very I wonder how many people actually play this game given that the ele this is an election year for the US It'd be very interesting to see all right we need to call who are you calling Sam uh, we're gonna call Sybil Sybil You bet. Honest Abe here. Very funny, Sam. I have to keep this line open for his call. Okay, we need to use the 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 organic listening device on the phone. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Sybil. Hello, Abe. Is that you? Uh, I am Abraham Lincoln. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. There we go. It's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application. Instead of AI, Would you like to go out the voice AI. Oh, we're doing the voice AI before the voice AI th is a thing. They predicted it, 2008. I'm calling it. Sam and Max predicted the, the voice modulation stuff that we're seeing right now. This is a date that will be remembered. Oh, I actually forgot what she said. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh my, you are a charmer, aren't you? Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter, where would you like to meet? 
Oh, we're going to meet on the steps of the White House. I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? Oh, oh, well, um... The time is to act the now. The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm going to slap <laughs> you, silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. Uh. I will feast on your entrails. Uh, Max, you might want to move that quickly. What? Abe? What's going on? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. If I was Sybil, I would avoid that. That that last part would be like, okay. So to sum up, family All right. values are the bedrock of this nation. Well, our that's true. Fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Well, he's not wrong. Max, your rebuttal? <laughs> Did you just Lincoln? fart? I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, uh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. It's a setup. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm random here. Harlot. Are you ready for our Max. Date? What? I, I've never seen this woman before in my life. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I oh, did fun. not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to Actually, this is currently the biggest days. problem right now that Mr. the Lincoln? US I can't believe Again, doing if this you me. this is like one of the the number one conversation that's going on right now is that there will be uh you know, false information Nader, Matt, that 39% is still voting for Max. That is that is horrifying, and everyone else is going to Nader. <laughs> okay, so we need to... One last thing. But yeah, yeah, currently the... False information, uh, fake information, and fabrication of information is currently the biggest concern right now in the U.S. And it's not surprising, given that there are so many vectors of attack that's currently happening to the U.S. So it's it's not, I'm not at all surprised. This ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln and Max. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. Oh, we're very partial. Let's hear a prepared statement. Let's talk about the issues. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. All right. So, how would you describe, would you your, describe tax your tax plan? Your tax plan. Free home delivery. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like, yes, the American people have decided to ignore it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, okay, then. What Where about... do you stand on religion and schools? He's going to say free home delivery, isn't it? Yeah, free he is. Free home delivery. And that doesn't really make a bit of sense, so it looks like it's politics as usual here at the debate. Uh... Again, very accurate, very accurate. Okay, Max. Warm the crowd up with a joke. This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day. Suddenly, a tiny kandiru fish swims up the Pope's and lodges itself in his Arthur grabs the Pope's pliers and swelled up like a melon. And the Pope says, thanks. Last time that happened, McKinley wanted to... No, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to uh, forget about all. talking to, to us, frosty, Max. America. He might end up losing votes if, he, if we actually let him speak. Okay, so we need to get rid of that last bit of... Hmm, what to do now? Actually... Ah, uh, to be fair, we should... Let's, we should see here. Uh, let's hear prepared statements. Mr. Lincoln, the networks are looking for a soundbite. Would you care let's to see share here. a few words with us? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for... St I stand here at the... St only one... Oh, we already did this. I said basically the same thing. All right. Time out. Max has okay, to uh, visit the little candidate's room. I'm drunk with power, but it just goes right through me. All right, so what now? Anything over here in the hole? 
Any golf balls? Nope. This is the ninth hole. At least the president has his priorities straight. Okay, so now what? We've managed to damage his reputation twice. We need to do it one more time. Oh, sign. Oh, that's just the valet parking. Hmm. What to do? Let's go talk to Sybil. Since she ran off crying, maybe we can continue Back with that. Shotgun. Hmm. All right. Yeah, you gotta feel you gotta feel a little bad for Sybil. We just kind of using her like we did. Hey, Sybil. How are you, Sybil? How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old wow, things she, are. she changed I her... Cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. <laughs> oh. Fresh start in a new career oh. to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Ah, that explains it. That explains it. Who needs a carbon dating service? How does carbon dating work? Oh, How let's does see here. Dating work? I don't know. Oh, she is an entrepreneur. She's protein, trying everything she can to make it. Oh, radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. I just saw a sign That's in the, the background. Of it. I don't really need what to is that in the back? I just you see it? Poto top? And it tells me how old it is. Poti top? Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is. Oh my gosh. It's, it's 2,000 years old. This is fantastic. Old is good? Absolutely. I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic I think places. your machine is broken. That looks like a very cheap rich. tiki. And plus, that's not exactly how carbon dating works. You're right, Anime Knight. You're 100% right. See you around, Sybil. Alright, I wonder if we can just kind of take it. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Don't touch that, fellas. It's the only thing keeping me in business. Okay, well, let's look Very at the cactus. Convenient if you haven't got a bulletin board. All right, anyway. We're going to have to get that from her somehow. But now we need to figure out what to do next. We need to get rid of that last little bit of reputation from Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. Dude, what do we have exactly? We have a punching bag, we have organic listening device, and a gun. Yeah, yeah. She she changes Boy, things out all the time. Oh, magazines. Oh, hey, magazines. What Anything here? Organ trader, self-loathing weekly, hot bunny. Oh, let me see that. Hot bunny. No, self-loving weekly. Uh, okay, anyway, let's see here. Anything? Oh, here, here, here. Shelf. Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. That sounds very disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, microwave. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Oh. Go on. Maybe another time. Oh, okay. Out of all the jokes, they do... Yeah, I agree, I agree. That sounds so disgusting. Out of all the jokes they could censor, the one about animal abuse is the one that they left in. It is... Oh. Okay, anyway, we won't beat that dead horse. But for now, I am still very... Now I need to figure out what to do with what's left. We need to mess with the last thing. Maybe television? For too long.
long I've sat passively and watched what's been happening to our great country. Now I'm back, and better than ever. I'm ready to take back America. The new, improved Abraham Lincoln, now impervious to bullets. Ah, funny. Maybe phone call someone? Who are you calling, Sam? So, Mista Pizza, White House, Sybil... I guess nobody. Nobody. I kind of already did. Harmonize with the dial tone. All right, let's see here. Oh, no, nothing in the pizza boxes. Nothing on the bulletin board. Nothing in the rat. Hole. Let's go ahead and close the closet door. But we don't want. I don't want them just staring at me up there. Thugs and hoodlums. All right. The ant farm. Ants are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at them through a microscope. Well, not entirely inaccurate. Yep, he is still tied up. Yeah, it... Oh, it'll be interesting when we get to chapter five. One way sign. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. Where are we going, Sam? Get the hint. What hint? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Into the White House. Maybe what we need is in there. Let's see here. We have the White House. We have the days. Oh, we have secret agent. Oh, picture. Aha. Let's see what we can do if we can do anything with the picture. Even mechanical puppets have mothers. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. Ah, uh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, I think that would be very, very nasty. Oh, hey, that a ribbon. ribbon is classified, sir. Presidents only. I have a feeling I won't be able to touch anything. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. <laughs> I agree. Uh, again, again, the, some of the jokes in this are quite dark. Ooh. All right, I'm pretty much, I'm. All right, let's start looking around for clues and cues. So we've already done, dealt with the cue cards. We've already dealt with his reputation. We have one thing left. Hi, America. So. It's me, Max. Remember, a vote for me is a vote. Thank you. Okay. We t so there's the flyers. We already heard about the statement. Let's do issues. Maybe we actually we do need to have Max talk. I am the one who can't wait. Not a divide. I foresee an America under one rule, an iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. I'll hail Max. Oh, okay. That might actually also be why he has only 39% of the vote. I believe in the ideal of a global community where America is but a small part. We must set aside our differences and work with our fellow nations, all united towards one goal. The complete and utter annihilation of the godless Belgians. Max, you had something going there, and then you just kind of... Okay. Time out. Max has a therapist's appointment he can't miss. I think we're on the verge of a real breakthrough. All right, all right, let me think. Maybe we talk He's to Chuckles. He's too busy talking with his candidate. No. All right. 
Am I gonna have to? All right, am I gonna have to look this up? I remember the other two parts, but I actually forgot the third one. Yeah, it could... uh, Jimmy Two Teeth, a periscope. Well, that's the submarine. The White House pool, most secure waiting pool on Earth. Oh, storage room. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Uh, sign. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh, boy. Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Desperation Accounting. All right. Post no Wait. bills. Okay, let's grab that one. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty much. All right, I pretty much don't know what the what the third option is because we can't deal. Civ uh, the civil case stuff is will be used for later on, and we can't buy anything from Bosco. Because, again, his stuff is after we become... We don't have a hundred million dollars to buy his stuff. Yes. Uh, I agree. I, it, no bills. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, so what should it be? No to Sybil, no to our house. We've already dealt with Hubilis, and no to Bosco. So it has to be somewhere around here. It's not the TV secret agent. Let's you talk to him. Know where I can find an ammo store around here? I've got some extra you can have. What do you pack? What about caliber? You're not very good secret service agent. Read my you? lips. No to Texas. Yeah. We've already prepared a statement. Maybe... Yeah, these two won't be... He, he gives off That's the same response. So... I'm coming. I'm ready for anything. Time out. Hmm. Cue cards. Maybe if I get... I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Okay, oh, oh, let's change it up again. Maybe that we can... No, no, Mac, where are you going? Get back over here. All right. We want to see what other... Wrongs don't make a right. Hmm. Nah, I don't think that will... Yeah, that's not going to cut it. But that's not it. Oh, whoops. That's not it. Flag. There's the U.S. flag. White House. We can't do anything in the White House. Where are we going, Sam? Oh, okay. Back to the office. Shotgun. Where? What to do? What to do? Hmm. Maybe if we talk to Hubless some more. Hi. Hi. I'm Hugh Bliss. Disappear, no selling books, no. How do you stay in business? How do you stay, How do you in, business? stay in business? With the magic of volume and free delivery. You can have all the colors delivered to your home for no green. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, all right. Stay so, colorful. no, that's not it. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's talk to Max. Maybe he might give us a hint. What's your impressions on the What's debate? What's your impression of the debates? Hi, I'm Poopy Head Lincoln, and I'm dumb, and I wet the bed. Classy as always, Max. We've got to improve your standing in the polls, Max. That sounds like hard work, Sam. Good point. 
Easier just to drag the other guys down into the mud. It's the American way. Okay. All right. I I have a feeling okay, that that's go. not going to help. But then what to? Hmm. As I said, I'm very curious. I feel like I've done everything that I can think of, but I, I know for a fact that there's probably more I could still do. Lefties. And the, is there anything in lefties? lefties? Tool rental shop is still vacant. Remember that afternoon when I put on a baseball cap and spent hours out here playing fizzball with Lefty? If you mean that night when you put on a hockey mask and spent hours chasing Lefty down the street with a chainsaw, then yes. Precious memories. How are you not in jail, Max? You sound like you ten you sound like you like terrorizing everybody. Mailbox. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. Which is actually very accurate. The incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Okay. Yeah, I know. I would like to know as well. I, I think it's just because he's Max is deranged. Hi, Sybil. What's new? Nothing around here. I can tell. Who needs Who carbon dating service? Need a freelance carbon dating service. Plenty of people. Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. I would love now to actually everybody's watch that. convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Actually, I would definitely watch that show. So Someone brings in a, a historic typewriter and then uses it to bludgeon the other candidates who brought in, his, you know, old coins. Okay, yeah, I, I'm I am lost. I am lost. I. We need to do one last thing to drag Lincoln down. We've messed with his reputation. We've messed with his, or with him. Because he was just reading the sign over and over again. So the, what is the last thing we need to do? I wonder. Um, oh, that, wow, that happened? I would like, I should go watch that. That sounds crazy. I know that there's been a lot of yelling in the British Parliament, but... I would not expect someone to get beaten up by a cane in in Congress. That is that is special. Let's see here: chilled preserved foods. It's true. I will have to look that up. I will. Magazines, lottery tickets. For some reason, we have a height measuring stick. Oh, okay. About that missile defense system, you want to buy something? Okay then. Tell us Maybe about this that one? missile defense system again. I'm working on modifying BTEZ part D. Once I get funding for it, it'll be able to shoot down any ICBMs targeted at the store. All right, so I need to. Yeah, I need to fund him. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Ed's vintage flavor. Oh. Do svidaniya, comrade Boskovorsky. We'll catch you on foot Okay, side, actually, you know what? Comrades dog and rabbit. Let's do a quick peel. Actually, I'm very curious. Let me look that up real quick. Let's see here. Let me, uh... Yeah, let me look this up real quick. So, you're saying... Charles Summers... In the Senate. Chambers. 
I can't. The caning. Oh, oh in the 18th. So this is actually quite a while ago. Oh, this picture. I, I remember seeing this picture. I always thought it was... I did not know that this was actually a historical... Yeah, this was an actual historical... You know, artistry rendition of an event. I thought it was just like a meme that was done for the newspaper. Let's see. 1856, United States Chambers, when Representative Preston Brooks, a pro-slavery Democrat from South Carolina used a walking cane to attack Senator Charles Summer and a abolitionist Republican from Massachusetts. Oh, wow. The attack was in retaliation for the invective, invective-laden speech given by Summer two days earlier in which he fiercely criticized slaveholders, including pro-slavery South Carolina Senator Andrew Butler, a relative of Brooks. The beating nearly killed Summer and contributed significantly to the country's polarization over the issue of slavery. It has been considered symbolic of the breakdown of reasonable discourse and willingness to resort to violence that eventually led to the Civil War, which is actually a very, very big issue. I, I kind of wish we learned more about this stuff. And why is it that in our history classes we still we don't learn about these types of things? This is actually very, very important because this is actually quite accurate. When you have a breakdown of reasonable discourse where, you know, people look and go, violence is the only answer to a problem, then you end up having things like the Civil War happening or you have horrible, horrible atrocities occur to others. Humans are not feral animals. We can live in society together. We can have public discourse. I think the I think mo many people need to learn the last, literally the last step one should take within a discussion is to go towards violence. It, it's just crazy that this this right here, this breakdown of reason of reasoned discourse. I can't believe we're having this conversation again in 2024. I can't believe we're having it again this year. It is crazy. It is ludicrous. Thanks for bringing that up. This is, it's very interesting, very interesting historical note. All right. Well, and on that note, I'm going, I guess we'll wait. Let's, uh, all right, let me try and click on everything, and then hopefully I might find out what we need to do. Sludgies. This week's flavors, caviar and borscht. Borscht. The red menace. Borscht? What is borscht? Okay, now I'm, I'll look that up later, but I'm very confused. Yeah, yeah. It is very fun to learn new things. One of the channels I really enjoy watching, it, it's pretty much one of my favorite channels. It's called, in a nutshell, Kirkashot. I, I always enjoy when they, when they release a new video. It's very high quality stuff too, so why? Wow, it's, it's dense and high quality and quite th uh, thorough. Roadkill count. Why would I have? I could 100% see this actually selling. Someone taking a picture of roadkill. Lava lamp. VCR. Is there anything? VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. All right. Hmm. There's the desk. Maybe something's in Max's desk. A very disturbed individual sits here. All right, no. Maybe in the rat hole? Anybody home? No. Guess not. Bulls and Devorn, we already looked at. Old case file, no. Jesse James hand. And again, we just have these. There's a donut box. Is there anything in the donut box? The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era. 
specifically last July. Wow. Well, uh, they didn't bother cleaning up that long ago. Oh. Cardboard wastebasket. Anything in the wastebasket? Nothing useful in here. How ironic. Oh. How is that ironic? Coat rack. Yeah, I'm pretty much lost. I don't know what to do now. I'm drawing a blank. I really am. I don't know what to do. As I said, we dealt with reputate. We dealt with his family rela uh, family uh, image. We dealt with his uh, waste image. Maybe there's one more conversation piece that we can mess with. I don't think so. Not the mailbox. We already looked at that. Sybil won't give us any stuff. I see lots of posts. All right, let's go back. Where are we going, Sam? Maybe I can do a quick mix, mix and match with the conversation bit. the White House. Oh boy! Let's flip through the signs. See if there's anything that particularly could. I don't think it would be that. I really don't. There's nothing in the mailbox. It's actually illegal to mess with mailboxes. I can remember that people used to like to go around smashing mailboxes, but that's actually considered... Like, uh, um, if you went to your neighbor's house and broke their mailbox, you would actually be charged with a crime because it's considered damaging a federal property. Because the, po the U.S. Post Office Free has to delivery. use it to transfer letters. So yeah, if they catch you messing with... If they catch you... I'm glad Smashing phone boxes, then yeah, you're going to, or country. letter boxes, you're going to get in trouble. Two wrongs don't make a right. Okay, let's try this one. Two wrongs don't make a right. Let's talk to you. Oh. No, no, we want to stand on religion and schools. Oh. Two wrongs don't make a right. Did we hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's got to hurt him in the polls. 40% Nader is still getting 21%. Okay. All right. So that was correct. All right. I am at the White House. Is beet soup. Ah, I see. Oh, Free home delivery. That would be an interesting flavor. I guess let's pick this one then. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. All right. Let's maybe if we talk, do one more debate with him. Issues. How would you describe your tax plan? I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. And Lincoln dodges the question by pulling out his trusty campaign slogan, which pleases the crowd but has no effect on the polls. Uh, okay. Alright, so apparently it has to do with this last thing, the tax plan. That's enough for now. Alright. Time out. Tax plan, so I think I need... Part of me feels like I'll need one more coupon. Or, I mean, one more flyer thing that we can put in the front. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Oh, maybe I can do it this one. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Then we want to take it. Can I shoot it off? No. Can... Go inside the lighthouse, look for the desk, say budget. Ah, okay. All right. Let me go ahead and go do that. Oh, here you go. National budget. Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. Let's see. Are anything around here that I can touch? Step away from the national budget, sir. That's for the president's eyes only. I, wa I wonder how to get rid of you. Oh no, not this guy again. Hey, it's our pal, Super Bowl! One and the same, sir. Well, stand aside, pal. No can do, sir. Orders. Let's see, tell, um... We'll find a... We'll fi uh, 
Do you, you like really happy with this line of work? Finest job in the world, sir. Don't you ever just want to take off for some personal time? Would love to, sir. Got a wife at home. Intel suggests Super Bowl Jr. is starting first grade. Summer home with plenty of doors I could guard in my time off. Solid oak. Good doors. Strong doors. <laughs> okay, uh... Alright, so I have a feeling I can't get rid of him. Now we have a calendar. Because I, I remember most of the stuff in here was always... Let's see here, maybe if I can go around... Nope. Nope. All right. Yeah, he won't let me mess with the budget. budget sir. That's for the president's eyes only. Yeah, let's look around here. Maybe there might be something else around. Whee! Oh, hey, a nutcracker, Washington. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I could actually picture ki a little kids. Oh, hey, hey, maybe this House one. Of representatives and gardens. Nope, not that one. Oh, cue card. Any cue card here? It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. The buck stops here. A thousand points of light. And I did not have sex with that woman. Well, I did, but I didn't inhale. Oh, all right, we found it. Okay. All right, we found it. New signs. Perfect. Let's give him a slogan that will destroy his last bit of credibility. All right, found it. I'm surprised Super Bowl didn't stop me from grabbing those. All right, here we go. Oh, whoops. New signs. Yes, exactly. So we need to pick the best one. I did not have sex with that woman. All right. Thousand yeah, points of light. I don't think a thousand points of light will be it. A buck stops here. There we go. Actually, I wonder if that would be a good one. Let's see here. What the issue? Describe your tax plan. The buck stops here. How would you describe your tax plan? The buck stops here. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like, yes, the American people have decided to ignore it. Okay. Enough for now. So Keep what is your coming. thoughts on tax plan? I'm ready for anything. I, 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 I can kind of guess now. which one it is now. Let's see here. Free home delivery. All right, let's go on through. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give. Two wrongs don't make a right. All right, and one, let's see here. I did not have sex with that woman. Yeah, it's obviously not that one, so it has to be this one right here. A thousand points of light. I wonder if that will actually work. How would you describe your tax plan? A thousand points of light. And that doesn't really make a bit of sense. So it looks like it's politics as usual here at the debate. Oh, all right. That's enough for now. Hmm. Okay, now. okay. Back to the cue cards. But the only other new one we have is the I did not have sex with that woman. Here. Hmm. I wonder, can I change this then? Well, we already did home delivery. That was for the toxic sludge one. I'm glad that I've been. Let's see here. Maybe we should try that. Don't make a right. Yeah, it's not that one. That was the religion one. I did not have sex with that woman. Yeah, this will not make any sense at all if I ask him about taxes. Hmm. Okay, there must be one other... There must be some more flyers somewhere. Alright, we can try this next one, but I don't think it's gonna... Well, we can try it. How 
would you describe your tax plan? I did not have sex with that woman. And Lincoln has confused the crowd with another well-intentioned but senseless statement. It hasn't affected him in the polls, however. Look at Abe's feet. All right. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. Time out. Let's see. Well, well I mean, we did collect the... Oh. Time out. For instance, we did collect the... That was the application right there. All right, let's look around. So that's the sign. It's not going to be that one. Not the mailbox. Not the DeSoto. Okay. All right, let's do... A, I'm just going to do a quick look up. Uh, let's just quickly look this up. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I can't think of what it would be. It's quite... A walkthrough. Let's see here. Uh, oh. Let's see here. We're just... Like, here we go. Talk to... Select... Let's talk about issues and how would you describe your tactics? Use the give me all you got on the cue cards. Wait, I don't think we have that cue card. Do we have that cue card? I don't think so. I would have picked that one if we did. The buck stops here. Free home delivery. Yeah, we don't have that one. Alright, we need to go look for it. I I kinda thought something screwy was going on. Alright. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go see if we can find this missing. Shotgun. Let's see if we can find this missing thing. Okay. Let's see here. Give me all you got. Maybe it's bound here, out with the posters. Give me all you got. It's oh. the army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better hey, than all right. One. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Okay. I should have checked the posters earlier. Okay, we have the answer. Sneaky, isn't it? Where very, going, very Sam? sneaky. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Yeah, I know. It was right. It was. Just needed to go back and have a look. Okay, so now we're here. Let's go ahead and oh. let's go ahead and use this. There we go. Give me all you got. And time for the last time to ruin his reputation. How would you describe your tax plan? Give yeah, you're right, you're right. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. Hey Max one. The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's come to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be me, you idiots. Uh-oh. He He's roiding out. Than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves! <laughs> Max, that robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. 
Not just anyone, Max. Bomb someone into Bolivia. Must die. Yes. Okay. All right. So now, now that we're president, we can now start messing with stuff. Okay. We need to get a hold of. Let's see. Voice. Yeah. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. I know, right? What's that supposed 39 to be? 39% of the vote was it already means. liking him. Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Yes, you're right. We can now mess with the desk. Let's get the ribbon. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Oh, I wonder who we're going to appoint. What about the budget? Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delight. Oh, they're the soda poppers. They're former child stars that they were former child stars from the 70s. And they just never grew up. So they're they're pretty much like ten year olds with beards, or at least five o'clock shadows. So this is how we can spend the budget. Civil pandemics office. Let's do that. Oh, we could change the calendar. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even I do not want to see any of our politicians in oh, swimsuit. That will be horrifying if... Could you imagine... I mean, most of the people in office right now are... They're ancient and they don't really keep care of themselves. They're so old. Beginning of Passover. There's Easter Sunday. Actually, it's very apt. We're, April is almost here. Wow. Let's see here. Earth Day. Arbor Day, Secretary's, uh, Secretary, oh, I have an idea. Wait, they were, they, wait, what? The poli U.S. politicians ended up doing in their pajamas at one point. That, that sounds very silly. All right, we're going to appoint you. Max. I mean, His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball, Oh, secretary. Oh, oh. What should he be a secretary of? That sounds... That sounds ludicrous. Oh, it's Fetterman. Okay. <laughs> Got it. It's Fet... Uh, I, as soon as I saw Fetterman. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. What should we make him a secretary of? That is horrifying. That is horrifying. There's nothing worse than a bunch of politicians trying to pretend to be relatable. That's just... Let's see here. How about mysterious... Oh, secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Uh, no, no, let's not do that one. How about the secretary of mysterious gaseous emissions? The Secretary of Meat and Cheese. Oh, okay. Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Okay, well, well, he's the U.S. president. You should allow us in now. Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No, we yeah. do, sir. Orders. Let a... Uh... 
I'll be oh there. boy. Roger he that. still won't let us in. Anyway. He's the secretary now. We're changing oh, the date. Today is going to be Secretary Day. Today, April day. Could you imagine the chaos if we could just change the date like this? Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. Okay, I just missed that. I'm going oh, to go for... What did he say? We now declare today, April 26th. Secretary of State. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked yes, yes, we have to go there. I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary of State. Okay, now what we can do is get rid of him. Hey, and then you're right. We have to head to her office because I sent tons of money her way. Take a vacation. Hey, Secretary of State. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack. A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I All right. This country. Now that we can get in there. Now let's, as you said, let's go to civils. We'll have to deal with the soda poppers as well. But first things first, civils. We need to get the... Yeah, we need to get the stuff. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Oh, Back we can. Oh, apparently we can chase Abraham Lincoln. We'll have to. All right. Yes, I agree. Okay, Sybils. I think I mentioned it earlier. This. Hmm. Sybil left the door unlocked. Oh. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's oh. getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. That's a very oddly specific set of events. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Oh yeah, we're taking that. We're taking it. Yeah, she... She's relaxing on the taxpayer dollar. We're going to have to stop that. We're going to have to shift the funds somewhere else. Actually, we do need to do that. We need to spend a hundred million dollars on apparently something from Bosco. Yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> oh, Mr. President, please, uh, Bosco. My favorite paranoid delusional. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. I these really think that this device artifacts. is broken. Really? There is no way these sausages could have lasted that long. Of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Uh, sadly, I can't help but feel like in current uh, in current day, I could picture it that a bureaucrat, a government bureaucrat, goes to try and do something either by dating a, a dating a if or dating an item or Where's looking at a historical Sam? monument getting the numbers completely 100% wrong the and oh, then boy. all future all future laws will be focused on that false information i could just picture it happening either way we need to start diverging finances away Actually, we probably should talk to them. We'll do this first. National budget. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Okay, Bosco's. There we go. So now we can get the item. Let's talk to the soda poppers and see what they're doing. Look, Max. It's our old pal. <clears throat> look, 
it could still happen. Oh, like Garrett, I I 100 percent agree with you. It could happen. That's the scary part. That former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Governor Peepers. Governor? What? How did that happen? You're a governor too. Governor too. That's right. I got North Dakota. North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice. We've got a rich and varied history. North Dakota, hope you like snow. North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Okay, I'm a bit curious. What is? What are these three fighting about? Yeah, what are you doing what here? Do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign. Great. The problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell him we're waiting. But Max is the president. Max really is president now. It was in the papers. We yeah. haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms buildup. What was that? Uh, did I say arms build up? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. <laughs> yeah, her her finances have just been abruptly cut off. I, I could picture her running for her life when she quickly finds out that all of the money that she was spending on probably a lavish vacation has just been... It's like, have, it's like trying to use your credit card to pay for a bill just to find out that your card has been cut. Okay, let's talk to the other two and see what they want. What about you? Max, you remember <clears throat> most omnipotent exaltedness Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Specs, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? I would Catch like to know too. Ring. What? No. <laughs> uh, I think someone's been reading too much Lord of the Rings. We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. Oh, I need the truth serum. All right, all right. Let's go. Okay. They are not taught. They keep preventing themselves from saying rude things. So we need to... We need the truth serum. Let's go to Bosco's and get it. We get the truth Where serum. We, going, we give it to the soda poppers. And then from there, we can... Back to uh, the office. I have a feel it. One of them said building up arms. So I have a feeling we're going to cause a civil war. North Dakota. I wonder what the other... We should probably talk to them and find out... Who is North Dakota going to get in the fight with? Okay. All right, Bosco. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering <laughs> making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can well, talk about finish my satellite defenses. Oh. So talk about the truth serum? misappropriation yeah. of funds. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me, trust me. I spent a hundred million dollars on a bottle of vodka. And they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, oh Oscar. boy. That is... I can't help but feel like I keep getting ripped off by Bosco. Anyway, we, we have the truth serum. We're going to go get them sh uh, horribly drunk now. I think we're going to need to get a, an empty soda can. Wait, are there any... Let's see here, any... Maybe this way? No, okay. All right, we're going to show it back anyway. Maybe Where are we, going, we can. Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! It is an vodka's. Actually, I think I don't think I've had 
very strong vodka. Usually when it comes to alcoholic drinks, I usually have only about like 5%. The one time I had a drink which was like 12, I think it was around 12%. It was when I was in Scotland. I was I I remember we went to a I went to a brewery in Oban in Scotland and they had a 20 year old scotch. And I was like, hey, have a sample of 20-year-old scotch. See if you like it. And it was like drinking liquid fire. Oh my, what is it so strong? All right, let's see here. First off, actually, Welcome we should talk back, to them real quick. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny. Oh, that... <laughs> West, wait, West Dakota? Yeah, what are you doing here? What business do you have with the president? West Dakota. We're all here to get him to settle the great Dakotan conflict. Whether it's better to leave by plane or just kill yourself and hope you'll be reincarnated somewhere else. <laughs> That's Which funny. State gets custody of Mount Rushmore. Why do you Why want Mount Rushmore? Get Mount Rushmore. Because they just want it for tourism, but my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. You're going People to change it. it. Just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy. They too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbon. Wow, beverages. you're the worst George one. Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Why? Wow. Yeah, he's like, he's going to turn Mount Rushmore into a... A political campaign like that is oh could you imagine that nowadays everybody come visit the Eiffel Tower or sorry come visit the Statue of Liberty where it's all about oh it's all about oh prevention of animal abuse or I don't oh I know it's all about uh, women's rights and like Oh, you, uh, what is, these are, why are you trying to misappropriate a, a, a monument? Why don't you just create your own for your mission statement? It is ludicrous. All right, let's see here. West Dakota. How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. That's when the unpleasantness began. Okay, what, what is this unpleasantness we're talking about? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. There was almost a war! But we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the South. We did not! You! I what? You? Oh, never mind. All right, now we are here. It reminds me, what is the Missouri Compromise? Stay you gonna... man. All right, Missouri Compromise. Okay, I'm gonna... Let me look that up real quick. I'm I'm a lot of learning a lot of things today. Missouri compromise. In an effort to preserve the balance of power between the Missouri compromise was passed in 1820, admitting Missouri as a, and Maine as a free state. Oh wait. The one what? Hmm. Balance of Congress between slave state and free states. The Missouri Compromise was passed in ancient way, admitting Missouri as a slave state in Maine. As, furthermore, with the exception of Missouri, this law prohibited slavery in the Louisiana Territory North. The Missouri Compromise was repealed in, by the Kansas Nebraska Act. Three years later, the Missouri Compromise was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in a Dred Scott decision which ruled that Congress did not have the authority to prohibit slavery in the territories. Interesting. That is, uh, who? That's actually quite interesting. That's quite interesting. 
Wow, could you imagine? This was in 1820. So this is quite a long time ago. Almost. Actually, it is. Yeah, that's almost two. It is 200 years. 204 years ago. Ooh, that is very, very long ago. Uh, could you imagine having something like I think actually that's actually what we've been recently arguing for the Supreme Court, wasn't it? In order to maintain the balance of power between the, you know, the slave states and the free states, the Missouri Compromise was passed where they would admit one slave state and one free state, which is that feels an awful lot like what's happening with because if you look at the Supreme Court, the argument is we can't, you know, the appointment of the justices. They were arguing like because a Republican candidate was admitted to balance the power, a Democratic candidate, a Democratic candidate has to be submitted next. And likewise, they were arguing that there should be more of an even even split between the two parties on the Supreme Court because of the fact that they don't want to have an imbalance of power. So we're having the exact same thing happen again right now. That has happened 200 years ago and 200 years ago, this was declared unconstitutional. Well, by the Supreme Court, well, I think that might be where the problem is because the pro the fight is actually going on in the Supreme Court. In this particular case, the Supreme Court was the one who ruled it unconstitutional. Oh boy. Politics is very messy, isn't it? Oh yeah, politics is very messy. Okay, we need to... Let's see here, let's get a drink out. I'm not really thirsty. It doesn't matter if we're not thirsty, we want to get a can. Okay, maybe if we talk to Specs. Hey Specs. Sing your theme song. Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you're 100% right. I wonder if the writers for Sam and Max actually took uh, inspiration from the Missouri Compromise when writing this, or if they just kind of... It's just as a happy coincidence. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wizard. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. Okay, Wait okay, now we we need to, hey, I think Wizard is the good one. Can you care for a drink? Yes. Yeah. You're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, <laughs> uh, orange soda, and tea. tea. Max. Please? We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, they're so evil. They're so cruel. Stay dry. Apparently, he, apparently he is severely suffering from a soda addiction. And, uh... Hey, peepers. Oh, that is funny. All right, so we we really need to get the sodas out. Is there a button on the globe? Maybe if I use the vodka with the globe. Truth serums only useful on people not telling the truth. Um, all right, maybe we can give it to them. Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? Oh, no. Okay, I just need to give it to him. All right. Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Sam and Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. Now, can we get back to the deliberation? All right. What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. 
Ethan, your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead like some four eyed Wow, these I guys know. are horrible. You little. You these guys are horrible. Of course you realize. This means war! 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 Okay, now we have war. They are ho Wah. Look, I know that there's a lot of... Oh. What wondrous thing Oh. Okay, well, let's turn up the sound a bit. I kind of agree with Sam and Max. What is going on? <laughs> we have a musical number about war. Wow, that is a, uh... <laughs> uh... Oh, this is so silly. Guns and money. Yo, it is quite accurate. I would have to... Um, interesting. Okay. Well, now we have war. I have to... That was... Oh, that was so great. Uh, uh, this was kind of what made Sam and Max so great. It's just so out of left field. Oh, hey. Okay, so we're now at war. So let's see here. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver. War. Okay, so we do need to now... Whee! Oh. What to do in time of war. Select target. Press fire. That's all <laughs> it says. Uh, sometimes that's what it feels like, doesn't it? It's a plate of fancy cookies for the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Yeah, yeah, I saw the dunce cap. I wonder whose dunce cap that is. Given the instructions, press bu uh, find target, press button. I can't help but feel like the dunce cap was for the pre uh, for the president. 
Looks like okay. a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctic. So peaceful. So serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? Um Yeah, I agree. I Okay, we can blow up the Antarctic if we want. What else do we have? I mean, beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! <laughs> Okay, maybe we should start just launch firing missiles. So what else can we target? Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Okay, so apparently I'm going to have... I, I know what I'm going to need to get a hold of. The... The Bosco's inconvenience can't. Uh, okay, I guess let's just start shooting missiles everywhere. Very special tonight, penguin flambe. Oh, all right. So that's what the missiles are. Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. You can destroy it. This will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely, my ego is bigger already. Okay. This will teach him to put me in the phantom zone. When did you go in the phantom zone? You will bow down before me. <laughs> Better pull up a chair, little buddy. It's going to take a while. Okay, let's fire. Attention, Bosco shoppers. Clean up in aisle everything. All right, let's see how this goes. He actually made a satellite Would defense system. That? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? Okay. All right, well, so we better... Let's head back to Bosco's. So yeah, let's head back to Bosco's. Let's grab ourselves. Um, yeah, let's go back to Bosco's. Let's grab ourselves the beacon. And then... Yeah, I know, I know. He He's selling us vodka as a truth serum. And here he is out building, building a satellite defense system. You would think that with the amount of resources he acquires he would do better than giving us a Whee! bottle of vodka where are we going sam hey, we're going to bosco's back to the office Shotgun. all right Let's see here. Hey, Bosco. Ah! Oh. See you later, Bosco. Let's see here. This should be Look, over here. Stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. With, with his ingenuity, you would think that he would be able to do a lot more than... Because if you look at a lot of the stuff that he's been providing us, it, it, a lot of it makes... For instance, the voice modulation device that we Where received we in Sam? Chapter 2 is a balloon filled with helium on an inhaler. And we spent, what, a hundred thousand on that? After that rampaging link. Like that's, yes! he's just, he's just ripping us off. That's what he's doing. He's just ripping us off. Well, 
he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre conventions, Daniel. All right, so first things first. Um, oh, White House office beacon. I wonder how... I wonder how hard Max had to throw that in order to get it on him. Okay, to the White House. Alright, to the White House. Let's see here. Into the war room. We have a missile to launch. Oh, oh, and it's already set on the exactly where we want to shoot. Oh, what's the Dakota situation? Whee! The civil war in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Let them thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. What? Okay. Yeah, you, you're not a very good president. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of D.C. and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. <laughs> Fire the button. Let's launch it. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. Yeah, we want to watch the... There we go. Yeah, we want to watch the missile. For all do my bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! Oh, okay, he's down. Oh, that, that's a, that is horrible. Max, you are oh. At least for mass hypnosis. What do you want to do? That is horrible. Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles, report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit. Four score. Stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 Oh, oh there's the setup for the set for the chapter five. Oh, hey, it's the song. Yeah, I know. I can't. I can't imagine the pain that the pigeons would be in. That would. Yeah, I can't imagine the pain that the pigeons would be in. And wow, that would be. That would be horrible, just the amount of... Because I don't know if anyone know, remembers it now. The UK used to have a place called... It was Trafalgar Square. And it used to be overwrought with hundreds and hundreds of pigeons. And you could go there and feed them. It was a very interesting exhibit. But boy, did they poop everywhere. And it smelt horrible. So... Yeah, that's just... That is a, uh, that's like a combination of, of animal cruelty and a combination of, you know, uh, hating thy, you know, hating thy neighbor all in one. Ah, oh, this is such a fun, silly game. Yeah, I'm going to keep pointing it out. There we go. All right, 
are quite fun. All right, all right. I think given the time, and yeah, given the time, I think I'll call it a day for now. We can finish chapter two and, cha I mean, sorry, we can finish chapter five and six tomorrow. Five is called, let me go ahead and, let's see here if I load it up. Oh, oh my dogs are barking. Let's see here, let me load it. Oh, okay, you can't really see it. Oh, shh, shh. Come on, quiet you, come on. No, no, no. What? All right. You're right, you're right. I, I know. I, it's a shame that a lot of games nowadays either take themselves too seriously or their humor is a bit... I don't know, how, I don't know exactly how to put it. Uh, because I don't recall many games being like this now. So yeah, sadly... Sadly, uh... Oh, wait. Why is this the wrong size? Oh, I didn't set the... Okay, I'm gonna have to set the ratio, because right now it's currently set to... Yeah, 1860. Alright, anyway, we'll have to... I'll solve this later. But yeah. We'll play this one tomorrow. This one's called Reality 2.0. Oh so, yeah. It's actually, there we go. Yeah, I know because I think one of the later, the most recent game that I'm aware of that was trying to be silly culture, funny, haha, -ha, was the Suicide Squad. Let's type in comedy games. Well, let's stick of truth. Oh, of course, it's not going to give me the most recent ones. Yeah, it's a Google. I don't like you, Google. I want to go to DuckDuckGo. Did you hear? Google is going to change the ref how the system go works for sorting and for... Yeah, they're changing their algorithm. So expect to get very radically different results now because it's all going to be AI driven. So we're looking for recent comedy games. Best comedy games of 2024. All right, let's see. What do you think? What do you list in here? Wait, there's a Goat Simulator 3. There's a Goat Simulator 3. That is, and it's up to four play. All right. High on, I have to, I have to play High on Life. I heard it's supposed to be quite entertaining. Shadows Over Loathing, never heard of that. Untitled, that's an old, isn't that an old game? Oh, maybe because it's now on different platforms. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is ludicrous that, I just saw the news. It, I saw the news. It was someone had did a video about it. It's 18 hours ago, and they were commenting saying that I'll load that up real quick. Negative Nancy, I need to show this to my wife. She did not believe me when I said that the term Negative Nancy was a thing. She thought I made it up. But no, it, Negative Nancy is an old, I think 80s, 90s term. It's not 90s. It's it's an old term that people used to use. It was because of the alliteration of the, uh, you know, the ends for the alliterations. So, just die already, Gary's mod. Oh, so this is just kind of a combination of a bunch of different games. Portal Two, and now, Portal Two. All right, this is, this has to be best of all time then, or something, because some of these games were not released this year. Anyway. Anyway, let's hop over here real quick. Google search AI algorithm change. New updates to address spam and low quality results. March 5th. We're enhancing search 
to be more useful information and fewer results that made uh, that feel uh, made for search engines. To improve the quality rankings, they're going to use algorithmic enhancements to rate the, the websites. They're going to use AI to keep low quality content out of search, like expired websites, repurpose spam. They're going to try and remove unoriginal results. So if you if somebody from this, what it pretty much tells me is if someone says, I don't know, they report the news that a bunch of midgets were attacked by tigers and then someone else posts saying, have you heard in the news? There was a bunch of there was a bunch of midgets that were attacked by tigers. Apparently, that website who po who commented on it second will be reduced in the ranks because it's not original results. It's not original enough. Trying to keep spam out of your results. Who defines the spam? I wish they would say, but they pretty much, they just talk about spam policies and spam fighting systems and updating their spam to remove unoriginal, con low quality contents. But this doesn't tell us anything. For instance, I'm pretty sure the Republicans would argue that the Democratic, you know, the Democratic talking points are spam. So if Google was run a bunch by a bunch of Republicans, they would decrease the Democratic websites. Likewise, if Google is run by a bunch of Democrats, the Republicans are going to be lowered because they're producing nothing but spam. There's a problem when you use loose logic and loose terms like this. It, you, it, it boils down to who gets to decide, and they don't mention that at all. They just talk about they want to, re you know, they want to reduce abuse. They want to get rid of low quality content. They want to re fight spam. But, you know, this is the best generic language for somebody who wants to do nefarious deeds and nefar nefarious things. This is the exact type of language that, you know, country or politicians would use in order to enact horrible bills. I think one of the best examples that you can have is North Korea came out and told their people, if you give us your rights to protect yourself, if you give us your right, all your rights, the state can protect you from horrible, nefarious people. And North Korea, that well, that kind of happened in North Korea. And look at how North Korea turned out. So... You need to, oh, the devil is always in the details. You have to always look at the language they use and how specific slash generic their language is. If the language is too generic, it will be used for, uh, wrongly. That's the reason why they made it that generic. And that's the case for Google. Everything in here is very generic. It is surprisingly generic. This is the Google blog, too. This is an official pipeline from Google. So they have no argument for why it's so generic other than they made it this generic on purpose. I could, I could, you know, it feels like PC Mag talking about it. Then, yeah, they have a kind of a, a second degree of, oh, we're, we're being properly misquoted. But that's exactly from Google. That is exactly from Google. Yeah, they plan to deserve, deliver. Uh, they, here you go. Google is promising to deliver better search results thanks to a crackdown on generative AI being able to fill the web with spam content. So yeah, this is what their this is what their argument is to try and fight. But yeah, they don't talk about it. That was actually like two weeks ago. So. I guess it's only starting to make it out on people's radars. Google AI updates, barred and new AI feature. I do not trust Google's AI. Did you see what Gemini was doing? I do not trust Google when it comes to algorithm searches with their AI models. Their AI, their AI Gemini, is a perfect, it's like a, a mask off, a face reveal 
to highlight just how they would react if they had control over, well, kind of what they're trying to do right now with their search engine. This is, I would not trust Gemini to give me accurate, clean results. This is the reason why I'm in DuckDuckGo right now. I see a lot of people arguing actually like, oh no, Google's changing their algorithm. Start using different search engines, people. The only reason why Google has so much power is you keep using it. It's the same argument I saw people like, Amazon is taking over. Like, Amazon has so much power. Well, stop buying from Amazon. You, you're the reason why you're, they, they have so much power. If you don't want them to have power, stop using them. I, I just don't understand the logic. I just don't get it. Google has Google is entrenched in our lives. Well, then stop using Google products. But you have to use Google products. Otherwise, you won't be able to live. But there are a hundred other companies out there that exist. ProtonMail exists. And I have not had any problems with ProtonMail. DuckDuckGo exists. You don't have to use Google as your... Yahoo still exists. I believe if I type in Yahoo search, I need to... I, I need to change the algorithm on. I currently have three different, um, I have three different search engines uh, or three different browsers on my computer. I have Brave Browser, I have Brave Browser, which is what I is my primary account. I have, uh, I have Chrome on here because of the fact that it's the. I needed Chrome on here for some reason. I think it had to do with my wife. So it's on here, but it's only used specifically for her. And it just so happens that whenever I load up to access uh, OBS, it loads into here. I need to I need to not be lazy and change that. And then I have Firefox on here. So yeah, right here, Yahoo Search. It still exists. Oh, we can... They even have a top 10 search engine. Let's type in Google AI... Uh, AI search. Yeah, it's still working. Yahoo search still works pretty well. And it's giving pretty decent results. Granted, the... Granted, the... The amount of entries on the page is a bit tiny. Why does this look like a repurposed Google? Yeah, it feels like a repurposed Google engine search, but with Yahoo branding. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into the API. Because, again, it feels like Yahoo search is just Google search. But I know that DuckDuckGo is a completely different search engine. DuckDuckGo.com. Yeah, I've I use DuckDuckGo primarily because of the fact that Google search isn't really it really isn't um how do I put it? Let's put it in uh, Google search bias engine to get better no, oh, um, that's NBC. Let's see here. NBC, are you at least making some sense? Sometimes you make sense, sometimes you do not. I mean, you just said algorithms of repression. That's from a book. Yeah, that's, uh, NBC, you're not ma still not making much sense. I think uh, I will not bother reading you. I'm, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is um, promotes personal biases. The Guardian. Okay, uh, are you going to 
No, you're not making sense either. Ah, that's from 2016. All right, I'm going to have to look to see if I can find it. There you go. Here it is. I think this might be it. This is from the JMU. I wonder what JMU stands for. What are you, JMU? You're an EDU website, which means you're an education website. Asynchronous tutorial, what's behind the web search and bit to learn. Okay, I'm having a... This is from 2021. I don't really want to have to keep running around looking. Especially since I want a... All right, I guess. Ah, oh, okay. Or is it you? We're, we're looking for the paper that I'm trying to reference. Okay, this 30 minute activity was quickly introduction of our biases and the importance of critically evaluating search engine results. Algorithms increasingly shape modern life and the biases impair study students analyze the results of Google image searches and image autocorrect suggestions. This Fresh, uh, I read this expression. Oh, wait, this is this book again, isn't it? This is a lesson. Pl this is a lesson plan. Okay, yeah, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. I think it might be the terms that I'm using. The point is, what I'm trying to find is that the in order to increase your usage of, an al of the Google algorithm, it will feed you results that you want. So Google gives results that you want. Um, but I'm going to have to, uh, it's having a bit of difficulty finding that. But the main point is, is if you're a Republican, Google will learn your practice and it will actively give you Republican focused content. For instance, if you if they if Google gives you the profile of you will vote Republican, then if you type in Donald Trump, it will bring up Trump's presidential campaign and where you can vote for him and where you can do the finances and you know everything that will be pro Trump. However, if you are a Democrat, if you're a Democrat and you are like, no, I am pro. Biden, then if you type in Donald Trump, it will give you all of the negative commentary about Trump. It, it's pretty much feeding your biases. It's feeding your uh, what you have again, or it's feeding you what your notions are and what your beliefs are. It's not actually giving you accurate information. So if you pick to something that if you pick some scientific, uh, some scientific, um, Let's pick a scientific topic. The problem is, is that I don't use Google enough that it will actually, yeah, I don't use Google enough that it will actually give me what I'm looking for. I always use DuckDuckGo. It does, and DuckDuckGo currently doesn't track any information. So let's pick a topic. Let's pick a topic real quick. How about best president since we just played Sam and Max, Chapter 4. So here it will give us Wikipedia, it will give us Newsweek, it will give us CBS News, and then Business Insider, C-SPAN. All right. Now what does Google give us? Let's see here. What does Google give us? Best presidents. It immediately pulled up there you go. So it gives us Wikipedia with an entry pulled directly from Wikipedia. And then CBS, C-SPAN, Guardian, New York Times. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I need to. Uh, I don't I don't think I'll be able to give a good example, but there are examples of, of this going on. Right. But 
But you get the idea, you get the idea. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I know that there is a... Yeah, Google is... Wow, Google is used for so much. When was this done? 2022. Well, of course it's going to be for mobile. Most people, most people don't bother changing their settings on their phone. So Google, Bing, Yahoo, Yandex, and then Baidu. And then DuckDuckGo is not on there. I understand that because most people are lazy. And the, actually, I would actually kind of love to see uh, the government do a, I love to see the government do a, uh, a lawsuit against companies like Google and say, hey, you have a monopoly. Google Chrome automatically has uh, Chrome automatically has the Google search engine as its engine. The same thing with Microsoft, where the Edge has Bing as its search engine. This is a monopoly. You should uh, you should ask the people to select their search engine before automatically setting it. I highly doubt that the companies will do that though, because then you would see a massive shift away from this. Because this. Right here is out of pure laziness of most people. You have to actively set your... You have to actively set everything to use a different search engine. So I would argue that these percentages for Yahoo, Yandex, and Baidu is because the people actively changed it. But yeah, it's going to take forever to find what I'm looking for. Because I have to filter out a lot of the, yeah, I have to filter out a lot of the, uh, okay, is Google biased? This is from the New York Post. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the fact that Google wants to keep you using Google, and by doing that, they show you what you want to see. That is completely a non partisan issue Google shows results or I Google shows political results you want to see and again it's not oh I spelled political wrong nope that's all right yeah, Google's not talking about... Uh, I'm not seeing this at all on Google. I'll have to go track back my source, the, uh, the, the, the source that I found that from. It was from a... It was from a video... Uh, you... Okay, then. Duck, duck, go. It was from a video from... Oh, what's his name? There's a guy who likes to talk about a variety of different topics online. On, he he's an educate he's an education channel, and he commented on about the fact that a lot of issues that it, where people were having with search engines was that they would biasly show your search results, and he actually provided pictures showing that someone with a Republican channel or Republican leanings would get Republican results, while someone with a Democratic leaning would get Democratic results. And the whole reason was because they, by showing you what you wanted to see, it would allow you, you would want to use that search engine more. I mean, why would you use a search engine which goes against your beliefs? But I'm just not having luck finding the, that topic. It's always talking about other things. For instance, this anti, I this anti conservatism is by it. That's not what I'm looking for, Google. You're not showing me what I'm looking for. And they expect me to tell this to an AI so that the AI knows what I'm looking for. Oh, is it this? This is the Wired channel. All right. 
Well, here's kind of an example. Uh, uh, here's kind of an example. I mean, it's not exactly what I'm trying to show, but this is kind of an example. In English, if you type in, if you type this in, you'll get these pictures. If you're in, if you use simplified Chinese, you get these images. If you type it in in Singaporean or yeah, in Singapore, so this is kind of what I'm talking about. But it's more whole. It's more true to life. It's more close to home because it's about political party. Results about you. It just requires you to fa it requires you to sh get the search correct. All right, we'll try this one last time, and then I'm gonna forget about it. Google. Um, results lean based on political um, political lean. No, it's not the I don't. Okay, maybe I should. But no, if I if I tell it to remove nicknames, election misinformation is a problem. Yeah, we know that's a problem. Yeah. All right. Teen. No. No. Okay. All right. Forbes. What are you showing us, Forbes? What did he do? Uh, what did he do? Um, as to I was hand mobilizing. Find a way to get non-biased data from the group of volunteers. Most of um, during the one of those to accomplish this, he came up with a two-foot survey system. The volunteers were shown pages of search results and compared candidates. The idea was to find out if the order of the search results would change their opinions on the candidates. In the first survey result, he used two fictional candidates, Ronald Bush and Julia Hillard. They were based on the Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Through the interview with the 200 volunteers demographic, they were asked to read bi uh, biographical information about each candidate, asked in their forms. Afterwards, uh, the phrases were these, the volunteers were then allowed to click on and read as many of the search results as they wanted. The search results were simulated using HTML uh, to appear as a Google search and alter the, uh, well, this is a, so this isn't exactly what I'm talking about, but this is a concern. Yeah, so this is just a, this is a, a test that was done. All right, so pretty much interesting result. Inter this is a, Interesting result, I will say that. Even more things that we have to consider when it comes to... Yeah, even more things we have to consider. I digress, I digress. I will see if I can find it. I will see if I can find it. Maybe I'll go through and see if I can find the my original source, where I pulled the information from. Right now... Wait, am I getting nothing but right-leaning stuff because of the fact that uh, I... Because it keeps talking about political biases and such. Is this because of the fact that I don't... I, I told it not to give me stuff from a certain... Like, uh, I did not want anything from uh, NBC, and I did not want anything from the Mary Sue, or anything from... Uh, the uh, Kotaku. I do want... Uh, I mean, the Guardian still showed up, so I guess that might not be it. But I'm getting an awful lot of very strange... Well, this is DuckDuckGo. Let's try this. Let's try and do this in the Google search. But DuckDuckGo is private. It just does, it's a basic search engine, so it shouldn't have anything like that. It shouldn't have a biases involved in it at all. Uh, 
Firestorm of inter I'm gonna have to look that up. No, oh, Google's still showing me these things as well. I guess this is a very hot topic right now online, but you would think that these have been filtered out already because, I mean, let's face it, where are you? Oh, I think the New York Post is not exactly the most reliable when it comes to news sources. And again, the Guardian isn't that reliable. I, man reliable news sources as a it is very hard to come by nowadays isn't it ideological bias on oh maybe i should do that ideological bias let's do that ideological bias bias in search results And this is a, oh, paper. All right, nice. Oh, is this that survey we just looked at again? The case for re, uh, research and the majority-minority relation. Oh, wait, this is that paper we just looked at, isn't it? Yes, this is the, pa we just looked at this paper. All right. Patient mixtures measuring bias in search engine. Okay. I'm surprised that I'm having such difficulty finding this article. No, I'm not clicking on the allow cookie, so... Ah, here we go. I think this might... Ah, yeah, okay. Fine then, Springer. I will accept your cookies. I'll delete... I'll delete them later. All right, this might actually be it. Search engines have become an indispensable part in our lives. Uh, smart sites currently searching the wide range. Uh, bias is defined by respects to the balance of representatives and website documents and retreat from the database. Bias is especially important in our topic of controversial, controversial opposing views, which in this case becomes more critical in our search engines. All right, these are the proposals. We find indistinguished stands of our rights. Hmm. We would like to denote that we distinguish the stance and ideological leanings of SERPs. The stance... Okay, or maybe we should check the... Yeah, that's the background. Maybe we should check the results real quick. We're, we're hunting through papers. Search... Okay, we get the idea behind this. And this is their measure. Oh, wow. They have some... Ooh, let's check out... Okay, one moment, one moment. So they're doing a sum. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we'll ignore the equation. Let's ignore the equations. Unlabeled search results to a crowd label. Okay, then. So that's part of theirs. And this is their search. So let's see here. All right, so. So yeah, here are the results. Actually, the results are a bit messy. And this is the difference between the two search engines. Okay, I think the main thing, this is gonna take a long time to have to sift through. We'll, I will go through this and see, but apparently this is a topic at hand now. I was kind of hoping that they would have a, a, a blurb, which would just kind of highlight the, what the, the paper was about. Actually, they do have a blurb. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to Let's check out the summary real quick. Okay. Search engines, uh, search engines decide our governance. However, the results, all right. Therefore, it's important to evaluate them. We propose a framework to evaluate the engines. We measure the stance bias as well as the ideological bias. We observe that the stance does not necessarily correlate to the ideological leaning. Positive stance on the abortion indicates is a liberal leaning, but a positive stance on the Cuba embargo indicates a conservative or leading. Our experiments show that neither of the search engines suffer from stance bias. However, both search engines suffer from ideological bias. 
both favoring one ideological leaning over the other, which is it more significant from the perspective of the polarization of in our society. So in this particular case, depending on what the leaning of the actual instance is about the actual topic is, is what will show up more in the search engine. So there was an ideological leaning, but there was not a uh, stance leaning. All right. So this is topic by topic, but all right, either way, I digress, I digress, I digress. This was in 2021, and the, so we'll have to continue. I will continue looking this up more later, but you get the idea, you get the idea. All right, so let me check out Firestorm of Internet 2. Internet 2. What is, I think that you might be referencing something else because I don't know what the firestorm of Internet 2 is. I don't understand why people participate in these firestorms. Okay, I digress, I digress. All right, all right. I think, as I said, we'll. S I will look more of the. Oh, oh, quit barking! I'll look more, this more up later. We'll, we can talk more about this tomorrow. I'll. I need to hop off. As you can hear, my dogs are barking. They want to be fed. So, oh. Come, come here, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me hold on to you so you don't bark. There we go. Oh, why are you crying? I did. Is it because I picked you up? No, 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 don't attack. Ah, stop it. No. Lay down. No, no. Ah. Hi, how's it going? Why are you trying to give me kisses? All right, anyway, I'm going to hop off now. I'll see everybody later. See you tomorrow. We'll have fun finishing off Salmon Max. Oh, good. I see, I see. That's uh, interesting. I could definitely see a argument about, uh, you know, a complaint about that because that would be, that would be exactly what's going on with the Great Firewall. It was so long ago. Yeah, it might be relevant now. Especially, why are you trying to touch the key? Quit trying to touch everything. He's now trying to touch the microphone. Okay. Anyway, anyway. We can talk, we'll talk about this more later. Anyway, everybody have a good one. Have a good morning. Have a good night. Wherever you may be, have a good one. Laters. And see you later, Anime Night. <laughs>